past seven, we were starting meeting April 9th for the finance board. Uh, we had various th things that were left for us here from uh, Denise. Um, there was something that I had asked for in a previous meeting um, involving the purchase of the busing property. And there's some executive session minutes here, and basically it says, uh, BUS voted to approve and release minutes from last year with regards to the busing negotiations. Apparently negotiations went on for two years. So this is not all, but this is what BOS is thinking what I'm, that I was looking for. So uh, there's a document here dated uh, February 24, 2014. Uh, executive session at 7.15 p.m. Uh, president of the session was Select Ngorski, Demore, Mike Dempsey, uh, Nancy Lewandowski. Uh, discussed the Center Street property, number of extensions they've allowed with no changes being made to correcting the title. Now busing's phase to respond by February 21st, 2014 as to where the property stands for clear title. Uh, Dempsey asked the board again to grant another 30 day extension and then he had been told by the seller's agent that they would be filing in land court soon and that the seller is very upset that the problem exists. Select Ngorsi stated that she was concerned with the delays and busing's failure to provide an update of where the title stands. Uh, the property values had dropped since the town entered the agreement. Both Gorski and Demore expressed concern that the town has spent a lot of money on legal and title searches to find the title is not good. The delays continue to cost more. Uh, Selectman DeMore commented that this concern isn't with the number of extensions given, but rather that there doesn't seem to be a resolution pending. Um, DeMore suggests uh, entertaining another 30-day extension. Uh, the board's assistant reported to the board that the council advised to decide not to grant another extension. The owner finally clears up the title issues. Nothing prevents the board from making another offer for the land if the seller is willing to sell to the town at that point. Like I said, this is February 24, 2014. Uh, they entered into something in good faith and the selectmen have a fiduciary duty to do what is right for the townspeople, Selectman Gorsuch said to Dempsey. Demore agreed, stating that the town can't recoup its cost to date, so their remedy is to walk away before they spend more. Dempsey responded that the seller might have resolution in six to eight weeks. Uh, parties agreed to extend, would, that they would not extend the current PNS, and the council would inform the seller of the board's decision and inform the seller that the title was clear prior to town meeting that he may come back to the town no later than April 7th. All right, I got ahead of myself. That's April, that's February 24, 2014. I didn't realize this other document was going to be here. Uh, the minutes for the Board of Selectmen on April 22nd, 2014. No, that's an order. That's an order. Are those executive or no? Uh, these are just minutes. It, this was the executive session for that because I believe they can go into executive session for negotiations. Um, April 22nd, 2014. Uh, President Gorski, Demore, Green, all stood for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Proved warrants, moved Demore, Second Green. Um, let's get to the, the important stuff here. Uh, Conservation Chairman Mike Dempsey. Center Street property, Mike Dempsey, Center Street property. Mike Dempsey told the board he has talked with Jim Bussing and his agents that according to them they have cleared the title of the Center Street property and now ready to move forward. Dempsey asked the board to approve town council reviewing the title so that they could move forward. Chairman Greeny responded to Dempsey telling him the town no longer has a PNS agreement to buy the property. Greeny also told Dempsey that if Bussing wants to pay the town's title search and to meet with them to confirm that the title is now clear, that would be fine, but the town can't spend any more money on this property. Selectman, Gors Selectman Gorski agreed, saying the town has put a lot of money into <coughs> the land. Uh, 
uh, the war agrees with his colleagues. Uh, Tepsi's concerned the town meeting will vote to rescind the appropriation of by the Center Street. And DeMoor stated that he is concerned that the town has sh shown good faith throughout all these months, spending money for town council to review paperwork, title exams, and other reasons, and agrees with Selectman Gorsi that we have nothing to show for it. Uh, doesn't want to risk the money being out there so someone hears this and makes a claim to it. Greeny responded that if they enter in another PNS with busting, the town will have to vote to accept the terms. Who said that? Green. Dempsey told the board that the town voted to purchase the property at a certain price and that the board should get the title checked again immediately and proceed with the purchase. That he doesn't know how they can say they will flush this now. That people do this all the time. Greeny said he's heard the busing, knew there was a problem. Uh, <coughs> Dempsey responded that busing spoke to his attorney and before he entered into the PNS and was told the title was clear. Selectman the Moore said the board doesn't have any authority to reverse the vote of the people, that the article that revoked the appropriation to purchase Center Street property is already posted on the town meeting warrant. Alex Johnson asked the board to support him and Mike to close the vote to rescind and that the board will have his cooperation to engage with the busing to do it again. Alex told the board that busing is moving forward to put houses on the property. Now if the town doesn't buy it, and he and Dempsey are saying that they want to buy busing's property. Chairman Greeny asked whether busing is willing to put up money to review his title with our people. Greeny also told Dempsey and Johnson that if they know a town meeting they have clear title, then they could ask to remove the article or send the vote. Open space members asked the board to have the attorney, attorney Eichmann, ask Bussing's attorney if they can pay and get the title search reviewed. Now this doesn't answer what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is why did we take a loan out to buy this property instead of using CPC money? And he was told me that the reason we did that was because It was something that was done in executive session that didn't allow him to use the CPC money. Now, I, everything I just read, and that's just because it just got left in my hair, and I have no idea. I don't see anything except for an extension and everything else, but I don't see why we went that route. We'd have to go back further, further. I think, to 2012? I don't know. Let's see, I bought it in 12. But, so it was the meeting that happened in 2013. But Mike has always said he didn't have anything to do with this property. Yeah. And his name's all over this, so I, I... And if we weren't using CPA funds to purchase it, on what authority and by whose direction was he advocating on the town's behalf? It's not like he was advocating the town. It's not like he was advocating for... Bossa. Bossa. It doesn't sound like he's asking the town's best interest. Mm -hmm. it, my understanding is that on both sides of the table on this. And it was kind of a, and the problem, the problem with this was that what I wanted to find out, like I said, they got $1.7 million in there. And the thing I didn't understand is why we didn't devote our open space money for the next so many years to pay for the loan to buy that property. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this explains that. No, we need Not that I, what I'm reading. No, we need back to 2012 and 13 as far as when everything happened. And here's the problem. It's too late, guys. I wish I wish we'd had a handle on it at the time. I don't think it's too because late. Because without a PNS, that thing should never happen to begin with. Right. And the, the money that was appropriated to be borrowed, okay, um, was never if it's not expensed, then that money automatically, you know, we don't spend it. No, we have to rescind the decision by the voters, just like we did with the school budget several years ago. And we agreed that to borrow money to pay a $534,000 fee to the school district because we got assessed so high, and if we didn't pass it, and the other towns passed it, we'd have to come up with $534,000 without the approval of the town. We'd have to cut things. So, when the next town meeting came, we put another article on, and spent some of it for the, uh, the schools for that, that year, 
and then brought 300 and something thousand off the books. We had an underwrite. I still think that even though we took out a loan and we agreed to take out a loan, we st they still they still could devote their open space money to pay that loan. I agree. And so maybe we should put a stop to them just spending this money. The money was there, and like this is what we talked before. That this stuff, there's all these different projects we keep on going and pushing it down the road, mm -hmm. and there's money that could have been devoted to certain projects. I was hoping this was going to tell me. That you know the way they were talking, the way Mike was talking, that something in executive session happened that made it so that he couldn't put CPA money on it. And it might have, just not in those. Specific and it, yeah, it was right. it those ones. And it yeah, might I not think it's have from prior. Yeah. Because maybe someone had some ideas of what to spend the CPA know. money on. I can't pass not judgment that. until I see evidence clear one way or the other, did whether it did or didn't that? happen. I haven't right. Well, I well he always, but Mike said the last meeting, he said go something happened in the executive session, and I don't even know if I can comment on it. And my understanding, the executive session, once the minutes are approved, that becomes public, public record. Mm -hmm. right. so, so, so this is what I, was left me, but this doesn't answer my question. No. And it, and that's that affects me, that affects me on voting on other stuff, you know, for to further down the road. I thought you went to Ann and asked if you could have all of them. She didn't have one of them. But you did make the request. Yes. I made a request to her. She had none, and she had none of the electric light company's minutes. So I went to the electric light company and got some of their minutes on my own. Okay. And was told that. That I guess they had, the other night when we were sitting in here, Denise told us that they were voting on minutes for the last year, but not the previous year that they hadn't voted on yet. Mm -hmm. Very, very irresponsible on the part of our board of selectmen not to take care of business properly. Well, this is this stuff just got approved. This is, this was all backlogged. So no, there's just a whole approved. bunch more that haven't been approved yet. All right. Yeah. All right. So this. That's basically what I got left for me for that. So I don't think that answers my question. I think we're going to have to find some other executive session stuff. The minutes not being approved came up in the audit, the town audit. Of course. Oh, yeah. No, it, it definitely goes suspect to Dennis's motivation because yes, that's, he, that was he my point. took a completely different position before that he was hands off on this and had nothing to do with it. But he's playing both sides of the field. And why is he getting upset that the PNS left? What does he care? Right. Unless he has some sort of vested interest he was in this, then... In the, he was involved in the process. Right. And, and, and that's, that's just the way it was. And, he, and that's why he said at that time that was the case. I brought up this thing that was in the tax bill. I don't, I don't know what's... And, and there's different aspects to this thing that was in the tax bill that bothers me. Number one, one of them... Actually, when I first read it, I just picked it out of my tax bill and I brought it down here and asked how could that be in with the tax bill. Then I saw the town of Groveland seal on it and I said, well, who authorizes someone to use the town of Groveland seal? That, ought, that looks like that's government approved, right. which I would think in our form of government would be Board of Selectmen, uh, tax Period. collector, or anything like that. No. No? Board of Selectmen. Board of Selectmen only. Right. Right. So this has, the, this has the town seal on it, and also it talks about a ballot question mm -hmm. that, um, you know, reducing from 3% to 1% CPA money. So when I first saw this, I, you know, I didn't think it was right that that was put in the tax bill. And, and like I said, it had the stamp. The question was, who paid for it? How could we put it in an envelope that's being paid for from town government with town, a town stamp on it, and I don't think we've gotten a, an actual answer to all of this yet. Did, did the selectmen say anything? The selectmen on Monday, what was the meeting we had last? Yeah. Right. Um, they have asked for an opinion coming from at least the campaign finance, office of campaign finance, um, from whatever, in Massachusetts, right. because there was some stuff. Um, I don't know. Did they talk about it at all at the Thursday meeting, Andy, or no? Yeah, they, uh, Betty started off by uh, asking that they table everything that they were going to do because she had so many inquiries about this election law and about the, you know, campaign finance type stuff. Um, and then 
there was discussion. No. They kind of, they kind of, the, the other guys kind of talked her out of it, and so they could make some decisions uh, Tuesday night, and put what they thought was their job to do. Even though I brought up and said you have no say on the on the bus, that's the finance committee's job only. Mm -hmm. And and then I don't know which one of the speakers it was either Joe Demore or Selectman Demore Demore or Demore. Um, who said that, no, we actually we do. I looked at Denise and she goes, well, it can be done either way. And she started humming and hawing about it. I said, well, it's never been done that way in the past. Oh yeah, it was years ago. I've been on it since 03 and it hasn't been done. Well, look, what we were up against the and last... I even added this. I said, so... Under those conditions, you're going to sit here and vote on the Warren articles, you're going to vote on the budget as well, you're going to make recommendations, you're going to drop prices from the uh, requested amounts, you're going to add things to the requested amounts. Why in the world do we have a finance committee in this town? <laughs> and and I, I don't want to be, well, that's a, that's a point, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, you know, almost like they had no idea that this hasn't been done in the past. Shannon Betty, I mean, she's the one that's been on this committee for some time. I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't know. Um, but let me just read this little piece that I dug up today. It's part one. It's the General Laws, Massachusetts. Part one, Title Eight, Elections, Chapter 56, Violations of Election Laws, Section 41A, Unauthorized Use of Endorsements. Okay? No person shall in the order to promote his success or the success of another as a candidate for nomination or election to any public office or in connection with any question submitted to the voters include or cause to be included in any political advertisement, circular, poster, or publication the name of any person as an endorser or supporter except with the express consent of such person. In other words, did somebody give Mike the authority? Right? Violation of any provision of this section shall be punished by imprisonment for not more than six months or by a fine of not more than one thousand dollars. Sure. I'm going to copy for you. And as far as I'm concerned, connection with anything, any question posed to the voters. And that's what that is all about. Question posed to the voters in the form of a refer a, a, a warrant. No, it's a ballot question. A ballot question, yeah. That's a ballot question. Which so, as far as I'm concerned, somebody stepped way out of line, and if Denise gave him the authority, it's the board it doesn't sound like they gave him authority. And, uh, you know. Who, is it? who actually did the stuffing of the envelopes? The people who always do the stuffing. And she said to me this, af this afternoon, Again, I'm losing my mind. Pat Rogers. Pat Rogers. She <laughs> says, we stuff things in the tax bills quite often. Like a month ago, they yeah. stuffed in the uh, rubbish pickup and recycling information. I said, well, that's a little different. <laughs> it's really that's, not political. No, it's not nature. political. But I mean, who did somebody drop these off? Yeah, somebody... Mike Dempsey dropped them off to her and said, would you put these in the tax bills? In a way, it is political. And then nobody, nobody bothered to ask the question, hey, what do you think? This is a good idea, maybe not. I don't know. Mike might have gone to Denise, might have gone to somebody and asked their opinion. But I doubt. Well, I, doubt. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is what went out, and it's inappropriate and should have been done with the town seal and the town without permission. The portion regarding you going from three to one, is a response to a citizen's petition that, that was being no, circulated. But that never got on. That didn't get on the warrant. It it's on the ballot. It's on the ballot it's for on, May 4th. It's, it's a ballot question. Oh, it's a ballot question only. It's a ballot question only. Didn't have to go to a to a mm -hmm. warrant, huh? No, because there's no elimination, yeah, so sure. it's a warrant. But that's still, because it's a ballot question, that violates Yeah, that. there's, yes, other, yes, there's there other variations to what it does and what's not. Like I said, it has the town seal on it too, which is you know, right at, I mean, that's not everybody 
should be allowed to just put a town seal on it. That should require uh, the Board of Selectmen's so approval, endorsement. Nor should they put groups' names on it either. Endorsement. So I guess the question is, who approaches Mike Dempsey in a legal way? I don't know. Well, my two questions was that at way. that time, and it was also what I started seeing the, the campaign signs for the <coughs> rail trail. And, those and I, I had a question, uh, you know, if some private concern wants to put those signs up, they can, but I don't think they can use CPA funds for that. They did they? I didn't get an answer. Because I, I have seen an example down? of it. I went to go... Like I went to go over to my sister in laws and I just happened to be driving through Wenham the other day and they're trying to pull a pool in someplace. And it Hamilton. says the, the pool in uh, yeah, Patton, Patton Park. Park. Yeah. So it says, you know, build the pool dot org or whatever, right? And then it says on the bottom, paid for by the citizens for the pool dot org. Well that's fine, you can do that. Mm -hmm. But if my question was if they're using CPA funds, mm -hmm. that's that's tax money. You, you yeah, can't right. be using CPA funds for uh, things like that, that including this. Yes. The paper trail. It has to be a paper trail. Right. It's one of the easiest things. So that was the two questions I had to ask. But and did we didn't really get a specific answer on it yet. Um, I don't care where it goes, it's public record and, and, and use the taxpayer money, then you, I would think you have the right to open their books and say, What's this expense for? What's this expense for? And if you see an expense for 200 lawn signs, right. it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it right. out from there. But, but if who, you don't. Who monitors their books? Well, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. well, this is a nice conversation, but it's really not getting us anywhere. No, it isn't. No, okay. Yeah, but I'm just going down the yeah, items as no. I remember. Yeah. Well, this is, this kind of led into this. My next, my next goal is to talk about the budget. Now, Andy ended up uh, probably being correct. When I went and I set up this meeting, I said that we should have a meeting to try to continue. We got as far as I think the police department budget going down line item to line item. Mm -hmm. And Andy said if it gets voted on, well, there's really no sense in having a meeting if it gets voted on. So some things get voted on. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure everybody got the same email that I did. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody got the email. Yeah. I, I tried to make myself current because I was out of town. So I was trying to uh, read some of that. And it appears that the uh, Board of Selectmen had approved an additional uh, full-time police officer and a senior highway operator. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, didn't decide to hire the second operator for the highway department. Creating a $21,000 surplus versus an $8,000 deficit. Right. Now, when we had talked about this surplus or deficit before, and we started talking about overlay, right. what would normally happen, what the money that would be brought into the budget from overlay would normally be whatever the, that ta the taxes were for that year. But we were putting more than that into the budget this year, correct? Well, we've taken out... More, but it's every um, single year we do this. Every single year, yeah, we take out money stuff. tabs out of the overlay that wasn't Apparently necessary, we and we that. have to keep funding it. Yes, we have, except it wasn't high enough based on what Denise perceives to be the law. It's not the law. The auditors made the suggestion. We don't have to go with the auditor's recommendation. Right. And in the past, we didn't. That's how we got this town out of debt. That's how we got this town in a fiscally sound position. We said no to CPA several times. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? And all we're doing is just going right back the same way we were. And if the selectmen, and if it goes through and this is legal, the selectmen basically are deciding what they want to spend their money on, our money on. As far as I'm concerned, we have nothing to say about it. However, if we put up a different budget, yeah, yeah. then we can turn at the town meeting and say, well, folks, this is our recommendation. Um, if you think it's uh, wrong, maybe you should ask the selectmen what their thinking was, because their numbers are on here as well. And that's why last time we met, I said, just spoke the whole thing. 
We'll take extra overlay money out to balance the budget as revenue source. Do you want to go the opposite direction? No. Nope. I want to go the same direction. I want to give Bobby the second guy. Why? Why didn't he get it? Why did our why did our our um, our finance director get a fifteen thousand dollar raise? We got nothing to do with that. Right. Okay? Because we can't. Because it's contraction. Right. I mean I, I don't think we should go about it being kind of like, well, well, we'll we'll show them. I think we should ought to do it the other way around. Because it's not gonna, it's not a hill of beans difference. It really isn't. I think my idea a couple weeks ago is what we should have done. We should have taken that school budget and split it up and put it on an override, knowing we had enough money to cover it. Not take it out of overlay. Put it on the taxpayers to make that decision. Okay? Knowing we could take it out of overlay if they voted it down. Because we have to pay the schools. We right. don't have a choice. Right. That, and we've done that before. We've played the, let's see what happens. And if we don't start doing it soon, this town's in trouble. How much is the busing property going to affect our taxes this year? Do the people know that? I don't think they do. They know is she kicking it down the street one more time? January will hit. January will show up. Mm -hmm. Next January. No, 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 not in January. It'll hit in the next. I was told January. So January, January. yes. That's I thought it was January. She came January. and said January. Oh, I wasn't here for that. So it must be a fiscal year thing. It must be a calendar year thing then. Yeah, it must be. Okay. So, and, and what, how much is that going to cost? Okay. I don't think the Board of Selectmen have a clue. Right? How much revenue do we lose because we bought that property? 17, okay, how much revenue are we going to lose if they vote to go forward with trying to get the property down in the corner, the Getty Station? Okay. Every time we do this, how much do we lose when an electric light company overstepped their authority and bought a million dollar piece of property without the town's permission? Nobody wants to go there. Oh no, they can do that. They don't have to come to us to get the money because they had it in their slush fund. But they have to come to us because it's not their authority to buy property. I tried to find it, I couldn't find it in the statute, but most positive that's correct. They have the ability to buy power and some one other thing like that, like I don't know if it's equipment or whatever, but they don't have the authority to go out and buy property. Now we've got a promise, I wanted to find the minutes of the selectmen's meeting that told us that there was a figure associated with how much tax money the electric light company is going to give us because that's what they're going to do. But I don't think they're going to give it for the space they rent or they use. I think it's going to be just for the space that they rent out, which will be a deduction. It should be the whole thing. I, I, we just, it's just, you the know, thing I will confused about there. by that whole thing was is, um, the electric light wanted to buy the SD property way back when, and they came to us and talked to us about it at that time. Right. But this piece of property you bought, they didn't talk to anybody. No. They just did it. Yeah, because the town is no longer has any controller. There's nobody in charge. Nobody who says to them, no. There's nobody that says to the site, what is lucky? Pull that warrant about the about the uh, 200 foot, whatever it's called. Wetland. Wetland, yeah. right, bylaws. Right. There's, nobody, there's nobody that says that anymore. They just put everything on. They just said, okay. We don't have a choice, we gotta put it on. What are you talking about? But then they went ahead and voted and had a split vote on it. Did you see the did you see that on the yeah, warrant? There were quite a few were two of them. There's split present. votes. Mm -hmm. What are they gonna do? Come and change their mind again? I mean I don't know. i just I'm just finding it incredulous that that they can sit there, act like they absolutely know what their authority is, and they don't. And there's there's, there's who is there? You know, I'm not going to go hire a lawyer to sue him. I'm not going to get the police involved to, to arrest Mike Dempsey for what he did. Because I can't. I mean, somebody's got to stop this train. And I think our comments to the affordable housing 
to help stop that Warren article. It did, it was gone. And they pulled it, you know, because I, I, they, they knew that it wouldn't get through. So I think they pulled it so they can come back with a better plan. Yeah. They have more pragmatic heads. Well, the other night that I had asked them to ask the state reps where we were going to be going with uh, rail trail with the, with the rail trail and the money. And I guess the question never got asked. They never asked the question. And I was going to be, uh, they asked about. I didn't get to see the meeting because we were in here doing business. But I, my understanding was they asked. You know what's going to happen with, you know, why are we paying so much money for the schools and all that type of stuff? And they were going to look into that, and they were going to look into the North Shore Volt Tech Agreement and that type of thing. But the question about the rail trail and whether there was going to be part, you know, was there money going to be definitely there, not there, or whatever? I mean, I know they have a letter that says that they said they'd support money, there, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily that. So that was never the question never got asked to them. So I was kind of hoping that's what they were going to do. But, you know, if you look at this closely, not only did the selectmen vote on those couple issues, you know, like the the worker for Bobby versus and, and the police officer, you go down these lines and they changed by 5,000. They changed by 3,000. Some up, some down. Where did that happen? I mean, you know, I want to ask Denise those questions. What happened? You know, what, what are they talking about? Because all she told us was those two issues. Well, go to the, go to the planning and engineering, okay? What number is that? It's line item 15, okay? Look at the uh, contracted services, okay? Department requested 5,000. Board of Selectmen made it 4,000. Or did, is the Board of Selectmen that's on here what Denise gave them? and just change the title. And then they, in turn, made some other changes to it. Because I, I don't know. I, I, I was just looking at this. I didn't have the other one in front of me. The old yeah, one. that was the finance director. Okay, so basically she just took that. Okay, so I stand corrected. We can just... All right. Well, let's look at the... All right, general government. Those numbers check. I was a little surprised at the fire chief's salary. Requested 49.3. Agreed to 27.6. Yeah. I, I, and there's no other changes, so it wasn't like it came out of something else. Well, I can tell you that. I did inquire into the police office on line item. I talked to the chief, mm -hmm. and I asked him some questions about that. And he had said to me that his issue that he's having is his reserves are moving on to other places because they're getting trained and moving on to other places because they want full-time jobs. So they don't really want to stay here because obviously the goal is to become a full-time police officer. So he's having an issue with getting, keeping reserves and having reserves filling those holes for the full-timers. So that's why he was asking for the full-time officer. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got out of him. I uh, talked to him on the phone the other day. Did he mention anything about the training part? I mentioned the training thing to him. Mm -hmm. I went through the whole thing. And he said that he was supposed to be going before the Board of Selectmen talking about the full-time officer. And that's that's what he was going to see how that, see how that went. He was the first one he to was supposed to come in and talk. Okay. And that's what he had said. He had said that his issue was because I was wondering if they, you know, if we we were ended up being the training ground and people were moving on. Well, that reserve level, that's what's happening to them. That a lot of times the reserves, they don't, you know, they want a full-time police officer's job. There's only going to be so many in Groland, so a lot of the officers move on out of the departments because something opens up, they get a chance, they go for it. So that's what his issue was over there. Uh, and and he spoke well about it. And the selectmen, as soon as they left, basically said, "No, oh, I think we should hire that and, yeah. you know, do that. I left that meeting soon after I, I got a chance at least to speak about the, the omnibus. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, and then, and one of my questions, 
Joe started to be his typical condescending, self-appointed expert. And he got through one sentence and he took a hesitation of a breath. I said, thanks, Joe, that, that'll be enough. <laughs> and he stopped talking. But, you know, I, I, I could have said you know, many things, but I, I think I kept it in check. I made it very clear when I started to speak that I was not here representing the Finance Committee, that I was here on my own as a citizen. And then, of course, I spoke about financial committee types of stuff, but mm -hmm. I want to make sure I, didn't, I wasn't giving an opinion that sounded like we all talk about it. The vote. So what do we do with the budget when that stuff has gone through? Do we just, you know, we go... I, I myself was concerned, and I, I'm not, I don't remember what the figure is, but we moved over overlay. The overlay is supposed to be whatever the taxes were for the year. So when the abatements pass, we put that money into the budget. Right. Right? Right. So, so I mean you can kind of play with that. But we ended up taking more out of that this year well, than the amount of taxes. That were so in. next year next year. So really, is it accurate to say we have a surplus of twenty one thousand three twenty four? Just on our expense or is it budget. not accurate? I mean just on the expense budget we're taking from one pocket to the other on some of the stuff, but that, that's why I said we could just Vote everything. Just vote everything that was on here to begin with. You know, overstep their, their cuts, put the extra person with Bobby, and then simply say, okay, so now we've got an $8,300 shortage. And just take it out of overlay on the revenue side and balance the budget. Well, I have two other things that I kind of have issue with in this budget, too. One is the tree warden expenses. She said she was going to take out the stipend. She took out the all the expenses, expenses as well, and that's supposed to be used to, for the police details and all that stuff. And that was apparently going to get enveloped into highway. Well, when they have to do tree work, they have to hire a contractor. Right, so that's the ten grand is supposed to be to hire the contractor. She took that out of the budget. I'm sorry, what line are we on? I, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. What happened was I got, I got called up from, uh, well, first I got an email from Denise, and she had asked me about... Uh, she said Mark McCabe was in inquiring as to what happened with the ten thousand dollars, and I go, I go, listen, I don't have it in front of me, so I don't know what you're talking about. He says, I remember that the tree warden stipend was removed because it's now a, a town employee, so the town employee couldn't get the stipend and be a town employee. And he says, I thought that was like three hundred dollars. That's very right. Right. So I go, but the ten thousand dollars, I don't know what you're talking about. So. But I'm, I'm driving down the street talking to him, so I don't really even know, right? So um, he had said that that $10,000 line item was for the expenses of removing trees and all that stuff. And he thought it was being, you know, pretty much thrown into the highway budget. Mm -hmm. And he, he said that if that happens, because it was absorbed that way, it would, he says it's just going to be lost and the, the trees aren't going to be taken care of. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know where the $10,000, I didn't even know what got, She's, all I heard was the $300. Right. She had written That's us, what it was originally. The $300. Right. Yeah. Right. And then I noticed it actually at the last meeting too, I'm like, wait a minute, there's a gap. Let's make sure we don't have, you know, what happened in cemetery last year that we got their part-time guys cut somehow. Well, then I read it on the crier, so I went and looked, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, so that was that, cut, wasn't that cut because there was an agreement that the DPW would take care of that? Right, and then mm -hmm. they separated again last year, and they were supposed to put the, we were supposed to put the cemetery wages back in or something, they said, at the meeting when they came here. And they got, and got overlooked, yellow, off to the shop. Remember when they went and they took the cemetery work, and they were going to take the cemetery work, or make it so that it gave, uh, the highway department, an extra guy, and then it just didn't work out between the two. They felt like they weren't getting the grass cut, they, and he wasn't he wasn't able to, it just didn't pan out. So then, then, it, then all of a sudden, the, uh, when they, they went a year without having a line item for grass cutting at the cemetery. So that's when they had come in and they said, hey, we want to put that back in because we want the part-time guys. And then Bob's argument was that two days a week he spends lawn cutting. And that's what he needed these two extra guys for. And, uh, but he said his part-time issue was he couldn't get anybody part-time because 
the people who have the license just want full-time jobs and weren't interested in a part-time job. So he was having a hard time finding those. And the cemetery can't get part-time people because they can't use college kids because they start way before they get out of school and go way right. after they go back to school. Right. So, so using a full-time... They're buying a, but they're buying a lawnmower for up there. And who's going to ride that around? How big that lawnmower is? I thought they had a problem with all the, all the edging. The stones. I don't even know what these lawnmowers is that they're buying. All it's I know pretty is good size, looking, 42 it's inch. I think looks they like a pretty yeah. good price. They, they're buying a, a rider, um, you know, with a 42 inch deck, but that's just to do the big areas. They still have to mow around the stones, especially the delicate ones, by hand. Right. So why don't they have the DPW do all the big mowing that's quick and easy with a larger machine, and then take care of the small stuff? Well, that was my uh, but that was my question when we, if we were talking about the same thing. Is this lawn mowing, was the lawn mowing at the cemetery part of that lawn mowing thing? Or was it not? Were we talking about two different things? That's what my question was. Mm -hmm. We really didn't get that answer. So, I mean, you know, I, I just know that, uh, what is what was that figure for the, for the taxes for the year? What do you mean the taxes for the year? Because the overlay. The oh, over the difference in what we're taking out yeah. and what we're putting in is 60 Grand, I think. Yeah, and the 60, right. 65 net. 65 net. So this, but so the 60 grand. So next year, there wouldn't be that much more coming over. Well, there's right? still money in the pot, but it was like four hundred thousand dollars or something after. Or I don't know which way it was. There's like four hundred grand in there now. But so not, if we put, if we take out an extra sixty, then that's only. We but still is that considered a surplus when you're taking it from the other line? Yeah, it's, it's like I mean, that's false. my question. I, I mean, yeah. you're saying we would have a surplus. I don't know how you say it's a surplus if you're taking it from... If you're taking it from your left pocket and putting it in your right pocket. I mean, I'm not going to tell you. I'm you're, supposed to, you're supposed to leave some money in the overlay account. You're not supposed to take everything every day. No, and right. that's not... She's not taking everything. So right. it's just, you know... So I had that number right in front of me. Wasn't before. she saying that there was... After we took this, it was going to be like 400 left? Because yeah. isn't it like almost six hundred now? And then once we take this one ninety five, it's going to be like four hundred. Yeah, but we're going to put money back in for this fiscal year. Right. She had a schedule that she had sent me. Sure. So if we're talking money. about transferring twenty thousand dollars, or or eight thousand dollars, to balance the budget, to me that's nothing. Sixty thousand dollars. But we we already we already played that in. I'm talking about an additional eighty three hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. Keeping Bobby his other guy. Yeah, but there's yeah. these other things like the and I'd, board I'd, I'd include another ten three or ten thousand. Doesn't have to be ten three, but in fourteen, we appropriated seven thousand. We spent sixty eight sixty, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So we do have ongoing tree expense, and I don't see any line item in the highway department that talks about expenses right. changing like that. And so they didn't move the ten thousand over to Bobby's department. No, they just took it. And the out. other thing that I have somewhat of an issue with of not budgeting anything for is this new lease of $24,000. We're keeping snow and ice the same as la as this year. We blew through it this you know year. Why we, you know why we bought that when we bought it? Because the selectmen got a lot of calls <coughs> from people right. that they were concerned about the snow and why don't we remove it? Why doesn't the town remove it? But That's why. I talked to Bobby today. And like I said, it eventually that's what I asked him. Hand. I said, what in the world? How did you buy that? Keep doing that. Oh, Thank we leased it. I said, yeah, I heard that. Oh. Oh, he, he didn't know. He, he like, I don't know, she had the money somewhere. Well, why is there no offset for the override on the snow and ice? Because we're taking that out of some the, uh, it's health like insurance. An RBNR, that was another uh, fund account. that Greg had created. It's a it ins fund. Insurance benefits, it's a basically account. not realized. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess my other thing is, I think... Ten grand needs to go back in for the tree ward. I'm with you. Yep. And I think another twenty-four grand needs to be allocated for this new front, this new snowblower. Because if not, Bobby's gonna be budget enough. is going to be short twenty-four grand. But there was another way to this too. Right. We can take it out of snow and ice, but this year we've used how much money? Is that different than the front end loader lease? Yeah. The only thing is this That's year. But truck. even this last year. year store Last year, though, we spent 
I mean, we've been... I mean, what's the five... I don't know what the five-year trend is, but, you know, are we already short at 165 and, you know, we knocked no. that down? No, no. We built that 165 up from a very low figure. Right. And for many winters, we, we, we might go over 10,000 or 20,000. Okay, so we're okay, kind so of okay going to 140. I think we're fine at 165. No, no, I wouldn't. I well, no, because the 165 includes now for this next year, 16, $24,000 for the, for the lease. Is that where it was put? Yeah. Yep. I don't think he can do that. He can because he uses it for snow and ice removal is what I was told. Okay, fine. So then that's what I'm saying is then that, that number. Okay, so we're, we're throwing staff. dice. We're throwing the dice saying we're kicking it down the road again, saying, well, we, hope we have another tough winter. We'll have to figure out where about and get the money. Right. But, yeah, my thought was we're going from, if you want to compare apples to apples, 165 down to 140. I do have one other thing to say about what Denise shared with us, kind of concerning that, but more concerning. Yeah. Our lack of borrowed money is a negative, and I think that's absurd. I just think it's absurd. Our, you, know, uh, the, you know, it's harder to borrow money if we don't borrow money. I mean, come on. It makes no sense. We're going to be putting zero money into our reserve account this year. What do we have to do with the negative free cash? Do we have to make that up too? No, that, that, that that's just paperwork. That's okay. just oh, yeah, you weren't you know, here from that part. In, in no, window, it does sorry. Make sense. Yeah, they cleaned right. it up. Totally and if you have ever gone to, 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 to buy a big ticket item mm -hmm. on credit mm -hmm. and you have no history, mm -hmm. you're better off having a bad history than no history. Okay. Because at least you have some kind of history. So somebody will take a gamble. You, you might be able to argue that with some people, but you're not arguing it with me. I just don't agree. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Yeah, you can't go lease a car if you don't have any credit. Yeah. You, can't, you can't do you anything if you don't have any credit. Well, we have credit here. The town of Grove when we're talking about. So, I mean, I think it's a little different than, than a, on an individual or a personal basis. I'm not sure. Why would the credit markets look at it any differently? Think about it. You're an investor. You want to invest money and get a solid return on your investment, right? Mm -hmm. So if you see a town that continually borrows money, continually pays on time, and uh, okay. solves their debt, yeah. you know what? Their credit rating goes up. Their rate goes down because now they're a better borrower. Now you should be borrowing more money because you're borrowing at lower rates, and you you have but, better use of OPM. But but but, but money. And, and that's you okay if you keep that borrowing stable. But if you keep adding to it, mm. and that's what we've been doing recently, we're adding to our debt. We won't be have we we we're going to have a really hard time if we get hit with another school hit, and the townspeople say no. We're not going to go for another override. Look at when our taxes went up last year when they bought that property. I, I just think we're, we're, we're being dangerous with this. I don't think we're being fiscally responsible by continually to up the, up the debt. That's why I want to know what those exact figures are. So when that goes online in January, what's that going to cost everybody? I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost Bill 10 grand more, probably. It's 350. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So, what's our rate now? Fourteen sixty one, basically. Mm -hmm. That's our rate. Mm -hmm. And that was on fifteen. So, I don't know. I don't know how to calculate that offhand, but the line item is three hundred fifty. Isn't it basically for a hundred per thousand? Isn't that what well, the tax rate turns into? Of assessed value? Of assessed value, right. Mm -hmm. But I don't well, want to convert. Well, when it's a loan, isn't it? You How can, are they do are they doing it proportionate to values? How are they? Oh, yeah, that's not what's yeah. Those words, and then some people's so, houses are worth more, so, so they're actually have a hundred thousand dollars that comes off the books. Yeah. It needs to be collected. Yeah. Then it's a hundred thousand dollars proportionately based upon your assessment. Some people it's going to cost more, yeah, yeah. other people it costs less. Right. So the average tax payment. The average. And then the above and average tax payment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But I think people are people are going to start to say, well, we got this much. At least with the schools, they can say, well, we need schools, and I can see what's happened. You know, it's easier to get them to vote on a new school than it is to get them on increased salaries or increased expenses in the schools, or operations, because they can say, well, we're getting a new school, we're getting something for our money, we're getting bricks, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're not. What would you suggest? Just slow it down. Just slow down this thing. Well, uh, where do you want to slow it? Well, there's, there's nothing right now, but certainly... There's four things right now. There's the land acquisition, yeah. the sewer, uh, for the 20 years, mm -hmm. the ladder truck, and the police console. So in 2017, we're looking at principal payments of 250500 and interest payments of 207160 now, the land purchase is water under the bridge. Mm -hmm. You can only look forward. And the sewer, they're just they're paying that. But we have just the, the residents that got it, right? Yes, that's Whether they've seen it or not, it it's not going to change, change yeah. what happened. You know, yeah. it is what it is at this point, right? Yeah. Unless somebody can figure out how to sell it back and not do this whole deal. Well, that's not going to happen either. Okay, so then it is what it is. You can't look back. There's nothing we can do. Or you can only control it. Like one. No, you, you can only go forward. You control it going forward. Going forward. That's what I just said. Slow it down. So that we can we can go to the taxpayers in another year and say, the budget's stable. We're not, you know, by obligation, by law, we have to give this much more to the schools. I hear you loud and clear. But the other one should go on. We suggest we do that. I'm just asking. I was the one who just said, let's put it all back on. I don't know. Take it out of surplus, uh, over, uh, overlay this year to balance it. And next year, there's no raises. Zero. Nobody. And we can convince the selectmen to go along with it and the contractual people, too. Listen. Now, I know, I know the police have multi-year contracts, so... And they're contractual, there's nothing you can do. That's right. And listen... But everything that's not multi-year, it freezes it. I don't have a problem. I'm coming from the private sector who's lost his job two times in the last five years due to the economy. Taking pay cuts, pay freezes. But listen, I'm sold. I'm just trying to get something get everybody else in the I real world on my ideas because I'd like me. to vote on this within the next half hour so I can go home. <laughs> Let's go for it. Well, that's why that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. I agree with the I, sure. I agree with the expenses on the yes, tree because. Well, it's not the tree warden. It's well, it's expense his expenses. It's just the business of taking care of the trees. Right. Because we're going to need that. So. And I don't he know resigned. if he's a tree warden. He resigned. He's resigned. He's resigned. He's resigned. He's oh, not McCabe, a different one. So. The next guy. The next guy that's coming up. He's one. That's it. Mark Franco. Yeah, because he's the one that says to whichever tree company they hire, this needs to get done, and it's paid out of this account. Right. Because if not, he's going to have to go through, I think, Bobby to get all those expenses approved, which is just going to... But Bobby doesn't have the money. Right, and Bobby doesn't have the money or the time to do it, so... Well, it's not Bobby. He's trying to get stuff in there. So there was two yeah. things, the $10,000 at that expense, and there was the $24,000 snowblower. We had a question about that being added with snow and ice. But we had a snow and ice de deficit this year. Mm -hmm. So do we want to bump up snow and ice to 189 to include that $24,000 I mean, I don't know what it was for ca outside of the last two years. You're saying the last two oh. years have been like s stupid. Over the last several years, there's been years where we have we haven't yeah. been signing, I you know, know, any deficit spending right. snow and ice. So it's just been recent. It's just been. A, I mean, I've only just been on for the two years, and it's the yeah. two big years. So. And I, and I, yeah, I mean, I think, it, I think it's if you just go back and say what's kind of more of an average year. Yeah. I mean, when we first started increasing it. A little bit each year. Yeah. I mean, we we're talking about forty thousand dollar budget. Okay. So you know? I mean, and then and then and then on top of it, salt went up like out of sight mm -hmm. in price. Oh yeah. So that that was another contributing factor. Right. Um, one year we used the the beer sludge. You know that 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 the, so the liquid was was put on the streets. Yeah. Now it's not. It's a, it's a, it's it's using a similar process, but it's not. You know, they used to put the rock salt down, yeah. and they try to get the streets ready for the snow. Yeah. And all those, all those little rock stones would hit the street, bounce off. People would drive over, they bounce over, 
and the main part of the street had nothing on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then they have this liquid they pour down, yeah. it, you know, like a spraying truck, mm -hmm. you know, like a yeah. pesticide truck or whatever, and it puts a coating that doesn't brush away. Yeah. And, and because the sludge in the beer manufacturing is very salty, it, it's a perfect kind of combination. So the, I don't know how it's mixed, but that's what they're doing. Gotcha. But yeah, if you guys that have been here long and have, if you guys are more, if I'm not you're worried not, at all, I'm not worried you're not at all about, about that. You're comfortable yeah, I think, I I think I'd rather you. throw the dice on this one if they're going to include the machine in it. Okay. And just say, okay, we might have to go snow and ice removal deficit a little earlier okay. if we have a tough year. You're always looking at the toughest line item to pay, even in private industry. You get the contract before the winter comes and would you like to pay by the storm, by the inch, by the plow? And it's Slippery. always, yeah. you're rolling the dice. It's, oh, like, yeah. it's, a, a, you know, it's like pre buying your oil, you know, for heating. Right. It's right. Cool. Which I knew a fella, you know, uh, got a contract for three some odd, and of course, oil went down. And first thing I said, well, are you contract, how much are you contracted to buy at that price? And, you know, buy two gallons and get out. There's no. And most of those guys, when, when their prices, the, the wholesalers, the delivery, when their prices drop like that, they help out. I mean, they don't. It's there to protect. That's what it's there for. It's there to kind of protect. Well, it's a, it, it's, you know, it's it, a bet. It's a hedge. Right. You're hoping. But, you know, it's like investing in the stock market. But it's, it's almost like, a, you know, it's almost like the bookies. The small bookie will lay off to the big bookie if he needs to, so he doesn't get burned. Insurance companies work the same way. So insurance companies the same way. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys are good with that, then I'm fine with it. So that was just the issues that I kind of saw, basically. So we want to say anything about the ten thousand dollar? I'd say I want to add. It. You know, do we have to add in ten thousand? Did we spend? Did we spend anything close to that this year? Um, you have a date. Let's see. Seven, like seven thousand. Six, 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 well, seven. no, that was last year. That was last year's appropriation. What, what well, no, we spent. It's, we spent in 2014 almost seven. Right. 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 What right. was the line item again? 19? 29. 29. 29. As of the last time she ran this for me, it was 37.30. But year to date, but I don't know if they have more in the spring. When was that run? Um, Isn't there dates on that? There should be dates on that. Oh, no, no, no. This was, I threw it into the budget. So I don't remember but that, that was uh, what through February, I think, right? Oh, so yeah. that's your paper. Yeah, this was okay. my worksheet. Oh, okay. That, okay. Yeah, okay. I inputted it and then did all my percentages and stuff. Now you get all the pruning in, in April. Right. May. I think that's going to end up being, a, I think April, May, June are going to be bigger ones considering that. They've never. Used I don't know how much pruning years. they do because the electric light company takes care of the trees around the lines. Yeah, and then they drop the, the stuff right there. Uh, <laughs> So it was 37. Never lost power in 20 years in this town. So is there anything else we want to look at? And like I said, we know that they approved this stuff. Andy's idea was to go through with all of it. I thought that, I thought we were talking about duplication of effort here on some of these things. Yeah. And I, you know, well, I didn't think Maybe Bobby was doesn't need the extra guy. Leave that, I to me, I just don't want us to look like, you know, having to sit at town meeting, having to, you know, explain to everybody why we did this or why, why did the selectmen do this and then you said that. You know, it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, but that's kind of our job is we could say, well, yes, finance board recommend X, right. Y, Z. Right. Because we're looking long term, there's nothing going into the savings account this year. So you're getting, everyone's getting their 2% raise and, you know, we can no, find I, room in the budget for two new employees. One is going to be the, okay. the police is, guy and one Bobby. And is, there, is there any, do we, anybody recall Denise giving an explanation of why she dropped that expense line from the tree? No, she didn't. She only talked about the second. This is the tough part that we, we really don't, we, we're emailing the finance director. We don't have her here. Oh, and that we, when we had, when we had, uh, Greg before, Greg was here. Greg was here majority of the meetings, and that isn't happening this year. I mean, we got plenty of information handed to us, but I like the answer now. I don't like to have to send an email and ask a question down the road. 
you know. And then, then there was no follow-up because you didn't really think of it at the time. Well, she, part of it is we have our meetings in the same night as the Board of Selectmen yeah, have a meeting, so that's where she's sitting. Work yeah, because that was taking never their the minutes. Case before. Right. Okay. We have Greg the, didn't take the minutes. Right. All right. She, Nancy all right. did. We have an yeah. explanation. You want to read that email? Yeah. yeah. So she, Denise emailed us. Gets a no, fifteen thousand dollars Paris. And it's not the money. It's what about the because of the extra job she's frazzled. So more money isn't going to help that situation. The, ballot, the line right. item is twenty nine in the budget, and that right. money was not moved anywhere. It was simply eliminated. Right. And those monies were used to balance the budget. The highway department will absorb the work in their existing budget. No additional monies are being recommended to be placed in highway expenses. Right, so we have twenty-four thousand dollars added for a sidewalk plow, and we're gonna have ten thousand dollars worth of expenses added to the same budget. Right. It, it's not moved to someone else's budget, but it was used to balance the budget. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so, and he's just gonna absorb it, and he's just gonna absorb these responsibilities. Yet he just needs two more people. So I think we give. So he's getting one person. So I say we give him one person. We give ten grand back to the tree warden. Which was what was appropriate in 15, because even if all the work doesn't get done this spring, they might need extra money the rest of the year. To turn the again. Did they cut his part time light on him when they changed this to the full time? The they gave -time him, yeah, they gave him seven grand less than the part time when they and, gave him one of the guys. And Denise said in the last meeting that she did not consider the the medical insurance for any of these full-time employees added to the budget. It right? is bumped up uh, five thousand dollars from the original. She said the other night it was bumped up ten thousand. It's five. But why is the when you look at the highway salaries, it's forty grand less from his requested because he wanted two new guys. Oh, so he wanted two full. So this is reflecting yeah, one full-time guy. Junior okay. operator. All right. And they they said have the senior, senior right? So that's senior, senior. Which, I kind of actually have to agree with them because the senior has to have more licenses, so. And he's more versatile. Uh, so he's more versatile, so. Mm -hmm. But if they want to, will he be willing to go and do the mowing that's required, or is he going to be above that? Bobby? No, the, the new person. That's not our, that's not our yeah. to deal with. It's yeah. nothing to do with us. Bobby just, can't get his employees to do what they're hired to do. It's not our job. That's right, it's his job. And if he tells us he can incorporate all this tree stuff into his budget and he doesn't need it, I agree with him. Why give it? Yeah. And if they want to roll the dice that we only get seven inches of snow in the tide next winter. Okay, this, the, the tree work is not done by DPW workers. That's why it's not in his budget. But he's saying he's going to absorb it. No, Denise, no, Denise, said. Denise said. Denise said. Denise that said. was an email oh, to us. It's going to be his expense. That was an email but to it's us not. from Denise saying he's going to absorb it. Expenses didn't get changed. He agreed to absorb that. Right. Did, that's what he, did he say he, he agreed, agreed to it? She just said he's going to. There was no consent. I didn't see, you know, Mr. Arkelman agreed to that. I didn't see that anywhere, so. I just didn't think this was the year that we should be adding this many full-time employees. Mm -hmm. I really did, but it, there are some things that we didn't have control over here that actually were, you know, we say we we do try to hold everybody to two percent, but that isn't what happened here. We no. have a, we have some oh, considerable pay raises to some people, and then we're going to find out down the road that, you know, I don't know if they're going to find this person for twenty thousand dollars. It's going to be the you know, we're just putting that figure in there, you know, so. for the... Again, not our job. So like when they feel they can hire someone for $20,000 to do what they need person. done. Then that is their right. assessment. But it is, it, is our, it is our job when they, they go in and give a considerable pay raise that, and it causes a problem all the way down the line. Right. And then they're not going to, and then we're going to make full-time employees, and we're not going to consider the the medical expenses for those full-time employees for the for the for the insurance. Isn't the insurance on a different line? It didn't that go up? Not, no, she, she said it did not go up to include any new policies because she doesn't know what they're going to buy. 
Right, which the conservative approach would have been give them all the max. Give them all the time. Well, I agree with you in the second part. Well, on the budget, I'm not sure I agree with you in the first part. Right, she did not. Each person should be judging their own merit. I mean, if you do an extraordinary job throughout the year, meet all your goals, yep. you I expect to get a little more than the average Joe who not, slept through not, not the when week. You, not, when, not when you just got here. Not when you just got a contract. But she didn't just get here. Yes, yeah, sure she, she did. did. She only been here. I just learned her name. She only been here a year. A year. And it's not just her. It's all the way down the line. People sign contracts for lesser money. It almost it, it it smells bad. It just doesn't look well. It doesn't look good. None of it does. When you go and you advertise a job out for eighteen thousand dollars a year, and then you go and you and you get all these people put in for it, and there's certain people going to say, "I'm not going to do that job for eighteen thousand dollars a year." Forget it. So the person that signs the contract says, oh, I'll come in for $18,000 a year. But they know down the road it's going to be $30,000. All those other people, that, when they bidded the job for that price, that walked away, it wasn't done, it wasn't <coughs> done right. And then this is, this is the situation that happens. And you end up down, you're down the road, that you're telling everybody to get 2% raises that have been here for 20, 30 years, and then you go and you jack someone else up and give them a, a crazy rate, like over the top, because they're going to change a job description. Or, and, and this has happened before. I've seen this job description stuff get changed before. And then all of a sudden, someone comes back and says, you know, we made a mistake. We really shouldn't have done that. We should have tried it. And then here we are again. That's, that's the problem with this. And that's the tough part for saying to somebody, 2% raise. You know? That's the part. That's what, that could, and it's an outside factor we have no control over. See, the tough part but, is they don't we work used to for because us. we worked hand in hand with our former finance director who had the same philosophical attitude. The attitude in the town has changed. It really has. It just has. Mm -hmm. It's almost like nobody's watching the pot, so people are putting their hands in it. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what's going on. That's what I want to try to hope to, to slow down or to stop. But then we, how if, are we doing that by pushing through everything that everyone requested? How does that achieve your okay. goal? Okay, let's start with Debbie Webster. How okay. much do we want to give her for a raise? 2%? 2%. Like everyone that's on a contract should get 2%. Why should some people get picked and chosen okay. to get How much money will that give us? How much will we put back in the budget? Oh, a few dollars. But. I'll give you a perfect reason. Because they deserve more. If you work harder at the end of the day, and you do more, and you carry more of the weight, and you do more of the heavy lifting, I, I, I have to agree you deserve more. I agree with Don't you. Don't you? But I'll tell you right now, in the private sector, when everybody's struggling, we're all doing more, we're all working more hours, we're pulling more weight, we're doing multiple people's jobs, and we're, we're level, if not taking pay cuts. I agree. And we're going backwards between all the other costs. Yeah. You know? I, I honestly and when I felt like since I've graduated, I've been out of school for five years, I feel like. I've been going backwards. You and I worked public sector for 10 point. years before I so, did private but. sector and took on major budget cuts. I worked for the state, major budget cuts. Yep. We took on, you know, I mean, I, we had a duty day in court and we had a duty day in the office where you had, and I'm not above this, so I, I don't want it to come across that way. But as an attorney, I'm sitting there answering phones, making photocopies, sending out letters. I'm doing secretarial work because they laid off our entire secretarial support staff. So we had no, I'm, you know, typing petitions. And I don't care. I'll do it. It doesn't bother me. But you're, you're paying attorneys that should be in court litigating and, and prosecuting these cases, and they're sitting there answering the phones. It, we didn't get ready. We were on a hiring freeze. I mean, we were on a pay freeze. We, I could raise for five years. It was, you know, that's just the way it is when you have major budget issues. And, you know, I, I think, you know, not to, people work hard. I get that. You know, people take on extra responsibilities. I get that. But when, when you have major budget issues, be happy to get 2% because there's a lot of us out there that aren't getting anything. I, I'm totally with you. Is also the flip side of the coin when you when you have somebody in your employee that's really good right now you try to keep them because who, who so would that be in this town? Well, 
I don't know because they don't personally work for me. So I can't sit here and attest to anyone's work ethic. And none of us is built. And none of us can. And that's well. That's I can only come in. I can only come in on Thursday afternoon at three thirty and find that Debbie Webster has been gone for an hour, and she wasn't coming back for that. Um, and, that, and that's part of our difficulty, obviously. We we don't physically supervise anyone here. No one's getting percentage raises like what we're given to those people. No one. That's right. No one. They're given extra jobs. I don't care if they're the all-star. They're not getting that kind of raise. No one anywhere in public sector is getting that kind of raise. No one. You can tell me anything you want. It doesn't happen. A person just gets a contract for a year. There's people in here, they just signed the contract. The ink is still wet. They're looking for it to double it. You, that, that isn't what happens. You can't, in that, it sets a real bad precedent, and that's what's happening. It's a bad precedent. We had a fight to the death, it seems like, with the former uh, library commissioners. And because they set the contract for their head librarian. And there were huge increases. And we just had we, nothing we could do about it. I can't possibly argue either argument because I just don't have enough facts in front of you to make. No, I'm not looking for an argument. I'm telling you the truth. You know, I'm just saying we did have that argument in the past, and the right. same thing happens right now with Denise's increase. We ha we don't have anything to say about it, but we're expected to come up with a balanced budget, and we're expected to hopefully be fair with the employees in the town. Well, mm -hmm. we, we actually do have a say in it. We can recommend something different, make a motion to, to change the figure. That's why I just said, just well, just 2%, the whole thing, on the non-contractual people. I'd like to be able to say, you know, do the same thing with the contract ones, but we can't. Exactly. I, I, you know, my hands are tied. We don't have any control over that. Oh, no. and we used to. We used to have some help. Because we had a finance director that was very conservative. I'm gonna go, I'll be waiting. And, you know, what town is Debbie living in? Denise living in? Where's Denise living? Silverside, I don't know. Silverside, I think. Yeah, she used to work in Swampstead, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's different when you have skin in the game, too. There's no doubt about it. You know? So, anyways, what are we gonna do with this budget? Are we gonna. Are we just gonna we're well, gonna I go with Andy's recommendation? Are we gonna are we gonna try to pick a pot at this? We, I mean, this is what. what is, all right, can we recap? What is your recommendation, Andy? Two percent on everyone that's non-contractual. I think that that would be a, a, how we feel, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. On all non-contractuals. Right. And then. Give I think we should add back, and we don't have to add back ten three. We don't have to add back ten. You know, the prior year was spent around seven, seven thousand. So maybe we put seven thousand in the expense line. All right, seven k for tree warning expense. But it's going to say that's what it's going for. It's going towards tree. It's going towards that line item. Yeah, it'll be that line twenty nine. Twenty nine expenses, tree warden. Ex excuse me, tree warden, and then expenses, not stipend. And then give the one police officer. Well, the one police officer, I agree with. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Did they change that? Yeah, they did change the number on the reserves because they were saying that that was the only thing. I know they had to subtract money from there. To move yeah. To, so yeah. it wasn't. A, it wasn't like the net of a full time officer. It, no. It was or the gross difference. It, it was, was offset by the offset by some of the reserve termination of the reserve. Yeah. It was. And then give Bobby the senior guy. One instead of two. Give him one instead of two. Give him a senior. One's a senior operator. Do we have any idea what, what putting back the two percent would do? I'm doing that now. I'm, I'm Look at you, bro. Putting it all in Excel. No, so we're putting back the 2%. Yeah. 
Yeah. Going that, that down to two percent. It's oh. just for how much would that? How much would that free up? Oh, and John, what's his face? Um, the the guy that the building oh, inspector. Oh, building inspector. Yeah, what days were you on that? Where is that? Uh, it's under town. We take the fourteen hundred seven for conservation. So we're not doing both highway gas. Just mm -hmm. one. No, just one at two eleven six eleven. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd be tempted to throw the other worker in there. But, I don't know. I'm just concerned that, he, that she's not counting the, uh, counting the medical insurance on those people. Should we gross that up, 10 grand? Want another 10K in there? I mean, I think she was saying 10K for a family know, you, plan, you, so. For the year? Was the Our town's cost. portion? Uh, the town's portion is what she said for the year. Yeah. yeah. That covers one of them at least. Maybe we walk out with two singles and it's maybe five and five and we're good. I, I agree. We got to put something in there. I, I think. Just, I think it's almost irresponsible not to. I just think you're not really looking at accurate anything if you don't put the an accurate budget. Yeah. You might be coming on the budget for Ray. For Ray, exactly. If they uh, both don't need it, then. Over budget items to the boss. Yeah, if we don't need it, then that's good. That's money that could get spent on someone else. <laughs> yeah. Or something else. They only get a building inspector to do this Yes. Where was he? 50084. That's the end on 24. He asked for 55, and the selector gave him 50084. Okay, so that's 2%. Okay. Let's see if this was all. So where was the medical insurance? I thought it was at the end, but I guess it's not at the no, end. No, it's in the middle somewhere. Oh, it's right here. It's on uh, line item 18. So employee, oh, yeah. group, life, employee group health line item is $350,000. I think it, if, it's not, if it's not factored in there. Well, all right. So here's the thing. Spent fiscal year 14 was 285 Year to date through February was 213 so How are July, they funded, though? Is it still July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So that's seven months. So okay. So here, here's here's why she didn't increase it. Look at the actual spent in fourteen. Right. That's, that's why I mean. she didn't change it. So. It, another place where Greg had money, so that in case something happens, we have somewhere to get the money during the year. That's that's yeah, how we I, operated. But we have. Year to date, what was that February date? Then we had two thirteen. So if you say that's July, August, September, October, November, December, January, seven months, two hundred thirteen thousand dollars. Is it? You said through what? That's thirty thousand a month on average. Yeah. And you've got five months left in the year. So you'll be at fifty thousand so dollars. You're, you're going to be at three six. So you ain't legalized that, and you're over that three fifty already. You said 213 through when? Through February 1st, say. When she gave me this oh. report on the year, ex year to date expenses. So it was through February? Yeah, it was, it was a date in February. That's, That's what we had asked her for, and I think she said she was uh, had them closed through February. Through, closed through, through February. So we got March, April, May, and June. So we're dealing with four months then? I don't know. You, you did the math and got to me to seven, so I just. Subtracted. Well, yeah, I'm thinking at March. <laughs> so we just. 27, 25. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah. Four more months. Yeah. Let's do that then. So another 104. So 104 brings us to. 3, 318. 3, whatever. 319. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. 320 rounded off. 325, 5 for the whole year. So I think, I think more money added to the, to the budget. I don't think 5,000 more. You know, again, she's working right to the edge. Yeah. We don't have money. Something happens. We have a catastrophe in town. You know. Yeah, and that doesn't. You know, we need to have some We need to have some play money in there. To take care of those unexpected things. Mm -hmm. And what if all the new employees all take the family plan? And other people can switch. Say well, somebody, yeah. somebody that's in town now gets married and or has a kid, and they go from a. 
single plus one to a family. I mean, then that's a cost increase. And the GICU was going up however much. So, so we have, what does she have, 350 on right now? For what? 18. 18. She has 350 on her still, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're talking two new employees, right? Yeah. I wonder so. if you've seen the budgets, how they build them, you know, behind this summary spreadsheet is probably the detail of by department, you know, worked up. Is it insurance is, FICA is, um, you know, uh, Medicare, well, they don't all the do way down, down and then kind of roll it. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna say that's our defense. Yeah. And then this is kind of the end product, mm -hmm. but behind the scenes here, you know, there's a lot of calculations that actually go into these numbers. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, you know, for the insurance line, for example, how is that calculated? Is it, is it an accurate mathematically calculated formula that incorporates everybody in here, what could possibly take place, what they've done before, how much it's cost, factor in an increase. It's just a number to me, it's so hard to determine well, but it's the same thing. Do we have any employees that are, you know, with child to be? So they're going to jump from some, from maybe two adults, which a lot of most plants have, to a family, or do we have somebody <laughs> that might get married and jump to two individuals? Um, also do have we have an employee who might not be even taking it because his spouse or her spouse has a better plan and they're going to stay with that plan? Right. I mean, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. And we're not going to know. Right. And we're certainly not going to know between now and 9 o'clock. Yeah. No. Right. So our difference between um, our recommend and BOS recommend is $571 in the total general government. $571. Which is the difference well, between their recommendation for that. Well, no, because Tree's further now. Right. So through line item 18, oh, line uh, line if we keep insurance positive, our difference is $5.5. Let's decide on a figure that we want to put into insurance just for conversation. Okay. Two new people, $20,000. Instead of $5,000, 15 more. So go from three fifty to three sixty five. dollars uh, well, I'm just throwing out a number. I don't know. Oh, okay. No, I just want to make you know, sure. Uh, I, I, I mean, I think I think we should put something put in, in there. there. Because if it's not there already, I, I can't agree with you more. Yeah, and from what but she said, I don't think she added anything for the two new she people. She claimed she did. She didn't put anything in for the two new people, then I think we need to put something in there or else. I think she, she must have put something in there because Someone now she knew she there were going to be two new highs. Well, if the BOS is $5,000 more, that's the perfect than the department requested. So no, she allocated change. five. Then who's that department? That's her. True. <laughs> yeah. So you want to add $10,000 on that? I would say fifteen safe. I mean, she was saying ten thousand dollars for a family okay. plan. I mean, I I would think that maybe five I'd rather or six. Budget, I'd rather budget, budget on that high side, conservative side, if you will. Yeah. And I agree. Then there will there'll be some play money in there, for hopefully. Hopefully. That could be transferred when you know. We need it. We get the tornado comes through, and we got to remove a hundred thousand dollars worth of trees. Exactly. Who knows? What you know, you don't know. I mean, it's not likely, but. So that gives us a difference of 14,459. In which direction? We're above the BOS, 5,459. On our expense budget. Does that include everything we've talked about? Up through line item 18. So, so not what's after line item 18 that we're going to change? Please. Nothing changes there. Same. Fire, nothing changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so are, are the non-contractual salaries in the fire department, are those all 2%? I don't know if someone was trying to give me something. Some, um, some of them are even less than that. 
firefighter salary is up one and a half percent. Inspector is up one and a half. I think he bases those salaries though on how many times you're planning on calling them. Yeah. How many there are in the company. So that should be, yeah. who knows what that actual percentage increase is. Talk about a moving target. Yep. <laughs> and then some of the stuff got moved around so much that I really don't know where it came from. To be honest. I like the greater detailing going forward. I think this will, yeah. will be an aid. But I wish we had it broken out on a year before, at least. I'd like to see how it's, how this is built, actually. This, well, yeah, that's what I mean. The whole Excel spreadsheet by department, how this all rolls up to, to this. Because yeah. you only get those sheets, so I assume there's more to it. I'll tell you, if, if you can do this just like this, you're really good. I've never... I've never been able to do it. I've never seen it done. So did you put the ten thousand dollars in for the, the expense for the tree warden? I think we talked about seventy five hundred. Seven hundred. Seven. Seven, I think. Seven thousand. Maybe that was your number. That's based on the last year's expenses of being about sixty eight ninety or more than halfway through the year, we're at 3,700, so. Okay. Seven. 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 Seventeen reasonable. If it goes over, then maybe we have some money in insurance. Well, I think it's, it's, it's fiscally responsible for something in there. Exactly. Trees didn't go away. And I'm sure that varies year to year. If weather conditions are similar, you know, you might target a certain amount of trees that you know you have to take down for the disease or whatever. And then, yeah, like snow and ice, roll the dice and, and gray. Yep. Saying as we go from 21 surplus to seven grand, roughly, if we take into all those. Well, our difference between our recommended and theirs is 21,689. 21,689. So let's balance that budget. And we were, they were at 21,324, so we're $300 a pot. No. no. No, other way. The other way. The other way. We're so our new so our recommendation is fifteen million And we we sure we got all the part time or the all non contractual workers involved. Well what was Wall Street yeah. is um if you go up to I mean, maybe maybe they're two percent already, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they were all two percent. Library part time wages. Some of those were like Lar last library because, staff wages. Yeah, that was all either two percent or less. They, yeah. Yeah, I did um yeah, I did this spreadsheet, you know, the chief Miss Madison. And so I had all the great. So at least I wanted to have that in front of us for great because I don't want to have have numbers tonight. Fifteen on it, oh five and a ninety six you come up with. I come up with a deficit of three hundred and sixty five dollars. Okay, that's what I thought. Here's something I've always wanted to fight for. So you street lighting thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars and they give us ninety five thousand dollars back. What do you do? What's the ninety six six fifty nine from? Six fifty nine. Uh that's not override articles. Oh. Yeah, that's the capital stuff. That's staying the same thing. Yeah. I'm just looking yeah, at yeah. the uh omnibus. That's it. Fifteen oh oh five two sixty two. Right, plus the ninety six. Can we go back though to um, highway for a second? Mm -hmm. um, so we only gave them one person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And he originally, when he asked for two people, which is the 251, 273 under highway salaries, he also needed $22,000 in part time wages. And the BOS only gave him 15. What are we going to do? Same as BOS recommends or what he asked for? I think we're doing the 15 because Denise said that, pretty sure Denise had said that she had left the 20. He had asked for both, not A or B type thing, I think. Right, so if he asked for both, which is two employees plus keep my friggin' part time people the way they are, and then they whacked seven grand off of that, and they whacked a thousand bucks off of overtime. <coughs> Well, because they had another full-time employee, so they wouldn't need as much overtime. overtime. Now, she, she did adjust it from last, from uh, Monday, because if you look on Monday, she gave us a number of five grand with instructions that if we, they only funded one senior operator, you could subtract 39.6 from the salary, but you'd need to add back 10 to the part-time line. That's what I'm saying. Which she did. She increased it from five to 15. Okay. She, yeah, see, this is... This was Monday's meeting. So she has given him. She has he given has, him back he ten asked grand. For both. He yes. had it. He had it factored it, but then he said, "No, if you give me both, then I don't need that okay. part time." Pretty See, I had said well, they have all the licensed people over there. I had said what they probably should have done here was it increase all overtime. A bump up overtime, mm -hmm. and then we would have saved on uh -huh. about two full time salaries and also medical insurance. Yep. I just thought it would be better that way, especially where you're talking seasonal issues. You're talking that something went to, to summer. And snow plowing, obviously, is we went the big overtime item, big overtime item with the with the grass, and that's what I had said with that. But, but that's not in this overtime. Snow and ice isn't in this overtime money, right? Because that comes out of snow and ice removal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So is that the way you want to go with that? We're supposed to leave Denise. What direction we want to go with this? I've got it all in the stuff. So you can email it? I can just email it to you. Why the phone? What? <laughs> you agree? But well, where are we going to pop it up 365 shortfall from Overlay? We'll just come up with another 365 from Overlay. You know what? You can have a seven grand. The tree expense. Mm -hmm. 365 stinking dollars. Give him seven thousand three hundred sixty-five. No, oh no, take it. It would go the other way. It would go, go the other way. Six hundred sixty-six sixty-five. Right. Sixty-six thirty-five. What was the difference? What was the difference? A dollar a day for a year. No, <laughs> What's what's this last number that we have that's different from Selectman's recommendation? We have, they had a budget surplus of 21325 We have a budget deficit of $365. Change the, change, That's why just change the three more than now. Change the three expenses by $365. I mean, Should we do that? a $15 million dollar budget, come on. We're going to talk about 365 bucks. Where was that? What line? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Drop it 500 and have an overage. Right. After a while. Drop it 500 and have an overage. I mean. Okay, yeah. So then <coughs> 1504762. So where'd you make the tree? 65? 6500. Is there wireless here? Yeah. In the building, do you know the password? I don't. I think I can make my final hot plug. Do it, girl. I don't know how to do it, but I think I know how to do it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My children tell me what I can do with my phone. Yeah, the kids don't want any money on that stuff. No kidding. Here. I'm not reading the password. Kathleen's right? iPhone? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you we'll give the code away. We're on TV. Jeez Louise. Well, I wasn't going to give out your email address, so. <laughs> so give out my password. When, when you 
send that out? Could you send us a copy? I'm going to send it to everyone. Okay. Yeah. And okay. You do. We have to vote it in first. Yeah. Is everybody good with this? Thing? No, That's what I'm saying. Is everybody good with this? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All in favor of the budget we just. Does anybody want to make a motion? That's what Anybody want to make a motion? Our motion to adopt this thing that we have. 150462. Yeah, that number. Second. Have a second on that? Second. We did, she did. Discussion? Better not. <laughs> You have to ask the question. Did All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. What do you want to do about the water on Move through them rapidly, as prudently as possible. Dude, what was what did you get out of her email on that? Did she need the Warren articles? No. This is something we can review, and, and I are we are invited to a meeting with the Board of Selectmen on April 21st. To go over the Warren articles? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I got. But, all right. So, did they vote or didn't they vote in open meeting? I thought they voted. They, they voted, voted some. They voted for all. Okay, for so, one, right? do we care what they voted? I don't care. I don't care what they voted. Wait, no. is there, do we have the finance board recommends on these? Do we need to make a recommendation on the water and sewer department? On a lot of things. It's going, it needs no, 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 but this, this column, Finance Board recommends, does she need that information from us? Tonight? Tonight. Tonight. No. I'm going to... We've gone into town meeting because this has to be written up and posted tomorrow. Right. right. It's going so to not have a decision. Well, that's why I thought they approved these Warren articles to go before town meeting. Right, but if And these are the ones that are going forward. But on, on article, I think article 6, article seven. And 7, there's a slot for finance board recommends. More than that. Do we have a, um, so, well, no, just like the numbers on those two. Right, we, we would do that at town meeting. We'd, we'd fill that in at town meeting? No, we would go in there and we would talk about it at town meeting. We would, we would vote on it beforehand here. With where we were going to go, and then we would go, and we would go before a town meeting and say we we want to go favorable or unfavorable action. We wouldn't tell them before they put the warrant out. Go out. No. Does she say that? Hold on, let me see what she hears from us. Right. No. I'm saying the right thing, right? Mm -hmm. These usually comes to the town meeting with nothing there, with nothing on it. That's okay, right. those that finance board recommend column is blank. I it is. Okay. It's right. so favorable right. slash unfavorable. What happens is, is we all meet as a as. The board here committee, we yeah. we meet, we determine which way we want we want to vote on each one of these articles. But I'm not talking about one through. I'm just talking about the ones that have water and sewer. That there's a column that says finance board recommends and dollar figure, dollar amounts in a column. Well, the dollar amount should be in there. Yeah, and that's not up for us to do. Denise okay. should have already filled those in. As finance board recommends. How can she fill those out as fine? If there's a dollar amount. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, this, that shouldn't be there at all. We don't have any choice on this budget okay, that except to say we don't have I don't think that should be there at all. I yeah, thought you were call. talking about the vote oh, underneath. No, I meant the underneath. I knew we yeah, meet yeah, in no, the library tonight. I was, I was misunderstanding. No, we, we meet ahead of time, and we know what we're going to say. It's right. just we don't say it until town meeting. Right. Okay. But this yeah, this is what she's talking about here. It says find what. Finance board recommends, and it's the dollars here. I really don't even know why that is there. Let's see what we did in 2010. I don't even know why that's there. That's not what we would do. We would just go that into the meeting like and we'd say favorable or unfavorable. Next year. That looks like just right? prior. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. So this is. Right. I, I was. I didn't realize what she was saying. No, it's I know. This whole column. I don't even. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I just this decided. Is, this is what water and sewers always look like. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. okay. No yeah. recommendations. Right. Okay. We don't change anything on these. Right. All because right. what happens is the state the says they say they're going to lower yes. the water and sewer commissioners. commissioners have said this is what we want. Right. We look it over, and we, and, and we go. We recommend, and we we don't recommend. Yeah. We do either favorable or unfavorable. Right. Call it a day. But on this particular year. There was an amendment put forward on the town floor to change the total amount of it was like it was four hundred thousand was the budget there four hundred and one thousand 
430, and they changed it to 460. And that was because, they, on the, I remember on the town floor, the water commissioners came forward and said, we, we'd like this amendment because there was a typo. It was, it was added wrong. It's, it's a wrong number. And it's only a, just you know, a few, few dollars more. Um, for, yeah, 30, uh, $30 more. <laughs> so, however that figure got typed in, you know. It's odd, but normally, this, it doesn't change. It's just, we vote. I just don't know why that's like that. Uh, yeah, you know, she, try, she strikes me as a person that's, that doesn't make big mistakes like this. So I gotta think of, uh, have to believe a different reason. Yeah. It's because that's how she wants it. Well, I don't think she don't, had the information. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I don't they know. never. They haven't submitted their budget. No, they did. No, they, they did. did. But he, even even still, at that point, I have to believe it's, yeah. if it's there, she knows it. It it, it should be there, as though he might have a say or a difference of opinion with the BOS. <laughs> I'll tell you that, that neither one done. of us has anything to say about those numbers. It's an enterprise account. Mm. That's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she has some reasoning for that, and maybe she feels that's the appropriate way to do it. But we've never done it that way. Right. Well. So should we? That doesn't mean. Anything. So should we give her a recommendation? It sure doesn't. Right or it's wrong. It sure doesn't. Okay? So we're going to sit here and argue about something we don't know? All right. We don't know. No, I'm just confused. I just hope she's not looking for a number from us by tomorrow, and we haven't provided yeah, one. Yeah, let me look at this here. Our... And what's going to happen? Is she going to slap us on the hand and the say you did a bad job? Okay, okay we'll cut my salary to half. I'm just, I'm just, obviously I've got a bad attitude, and I know I'm on camera. I kind of like that actually right now. I hope a lot of people in town come and see me. I had, ver I had several people console me on the meeting when Joe Damore absolutely insulted us on camera. Actually, I'm looking at last year's and we had it on there last year. Yeah, I did too, but uh, <coughs> yeah. I get to him. Oh, you had it last year? I don't take it for Yeah, last year. I just pulled it up online. They did it. Yeah, finance board recommends. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Let's just change these. Yeah, sorry. I can't believe this technology. Yeah. Is it exactly the same? I hear you. My, my thumbs are too fat to do any of that stuff. Well, I switched in and it changed pages. Yeah, they were the same numbers as they had, so. So, do we want to recommend his 6% increase or look at what the BOS said? I think BOS we ought to do not. what the law says. Which is? We can't alter we can't that number. Alter. Okay. No, the guess the board of selectmen think they can. Okay. I I'm just trying to remember what happens with something like this because before we've done this before. I'm trying to remember when you go down. I know when you go into the regular budget, it's one thing. When you go into these things, it isn't like we can say hold line two and go back and talk about it. But we could say. That we don't yeah. Let, let's we, just put down the numbers the water department gave us. But then we could vote on favorable action if we wanted to, right? But that that's would, right. That would shut the whole budget down, right? It would oh, just, just that article. Just that article. That's not on the omnibus. Omnibus is Article Five. Water is six. Six. I think that's the one that's right. But I'm saying. Article six, which includes a raise that we think we might think is too much. Well, so if we go and we if we go and we say unfavorable action, that's that whole article six. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. So then what? The water commissioner will say the legal counsel and sitting there with us. Do they have the ability to change these numbers that we presented to them? Mm -hmm. And I believe he will say, no. <coughs> right, that's why they had the board of water commission. Right. So why she had it, why she included our recommendation on last year for the first time, I'm not sure. Well, instead of going right to Article Six, why don't 
Do you want to do these tonight, or do you want to save them for another time? If we were to save them, then would that be? <coughs> well, that's my question. Right. Next Monday, we could have a meeting, or we could not have a meeting. We had an extra meeting this week. I could not be here next Monday. All I right. could not be here next <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. maybe Thursday, but... I we have the 15th deadline on no, next Monday. No, the only reason I'm asking, Monday isn't good for me next week either. Yeah, um, week. I'm going to be work. I'm going to be working too many hours, and then, and then I'm going to come in here, and it's just not going to work. No. I could do it if I had to, no. but uh, so looking at the calendar. Do we, do we have opinions on these? Does everybody have an opinion right now? Regarding? The CPA, Warren articles. The, the CPA articles. Any of them that ask for our opinion? I have an opinion on some of them. Well, yeah. could we come to consensus tonight and decide? Not even consensus. There's, no, six, of us. There's six of us here. If you Four of us say it. yes, favorable. It's we voted favorable. Right it wasn't unanimous. All right. All right. I mean, I, I don't know. Well part, of, well, part of my problem is, is I don't have all the information I wanted to make a decision on these articles because I asked for executive minute session. Oh, okay. All right. and I didn't get what I wanted. Right. Like, this well, is, this is not what I wanted. We don't need answers until the 21st, I think. Yes. Right. We don't even need it for the 21st. Well, I was just going to say, we don't need them until the 20th, whatever that day is. I'm not meeting with the selectmen. Okay. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to have this, this, you know, you know, Joe or whomever else wants to try to convince us to change our opinion. Right. I'm not, I'm not playing the game anymore. Well, we can go, we can go a little further. I mean, the short one is special town meeting. We can get through that now if you want. Yep. Um, April. But my question is, April 13th would be a Monday that we would normally meet. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of people that would be interested in meeting April 13th because we have stuff going on. A lot of people are involved in tax season. Mm -hmm. Just tax season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm involved in it because I got a letter from the IRS today. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had put in a request for a waiver because of our daughter's special needs education, which we've had every year, and our accountant didn't attach the paperwork. This is this year. We've already filed. So they can't allow a waiver without the documentation. So. Should be a simple amendment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. Just frightening when you get that letter, isn't it? Oh. Uh, it's, just, it's an irritation. We get them every year for some reason. Usually we get one from two years back or three years back two years. telling us we, we owe them another $68,000 because they show no record of us paying taxes. Even though it's direct, yeah. direct deposit yeah. to the IRS. Yeah. They just don't. No. So the 13th is bad. The yeah. 20, we could meet the 20th. We could talk about the Warren Agles. So we have her post a meeting for the 20th. Yeah. Um, That's a holiday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We're, We're not even here the 20th. Patriots you're right. Day. And I'm, I'm gone as the 18th. You're out. I'm gone. That's Patriots Day. Gone, yeah. gone. Gone, gone. Gone away. Florida. Yeah. Yeah, that's school vacation. That's school vacation week. So the twenty first is when the, the selectmen had talked about ask inviting us if we wanted to attend. So unless we make another date the week before, other than the thirteenth. So what date would work for us and maybe we can invite the selectmen? Be our meeting on our terms. Mm -hmm. And the first thing on our agenda could be the open apology that Joe DeMoore's going to give us. <laughs> right. That's true. I mean, I would honestly yeah. prefer nothing the week of the 13th, because the 16th, I barely roll out of bed by noon time, to be honest. Oh, you don't have to work on the 16th? No. I hate you. Yeah. Well, it's it. all the calls. Yeah. I mean, then we go with my own. So you'd yeah. rather just, next week is just no, a no-go. I, I could do the 16th. I mean, if everybody else wants to do the 16th, I, I can't do, do the 16th. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. So then the following week, Monday's out. Monday's a holiday. The 21st, the selectmen had asked to talk. Um, but we don't, you know, we, we could say out. that we're unavailable. Yep. Or not. You know, it all depends on what we want to do. We could set up a meeting for ourselves. Yeah, it's anything, but we're not prepared. Yeah. Right. No, I wouldn't say we're not prepared, but we're, we're just... We're thoroughly prepared. We just don't want to talk to you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I could do Thursday the 24th. I could just say, no, you... Or the 23rd. My yeah. vote, and then if you're... If you need the, the vote, then you have it, and then... 
Yeah, wait, when, when are you leaving? You're leaving the week of? I'm leaving, I le fly out the 20th. Oh. Uh, but if five of us are here, right. I mean. Right, so you would still be able to get a majority. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah, in the bylaws, read the majority of those in attendance. That's right. That's the way it always is. Uh, so it's usually made by people that yeah. show up. I, I couldn't come to a meeting a couple of years back, and I don't know if it was Greg or who was the chair at that time, but uh, I got a call at home. Hey, could you come over for like three minutes? <laughs> so, and I did, but I, I only lived, you know, five houses down the street. So what, what date would work for everyone? You, obviously, next week is messed up for everybody. It just mm -hmm. doesn't seem like anything we do is going to work out next week. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, you're going to be away. Um, I mean, if you want, if you wanted to come in early on the 21st, so we could just do the 21st. But yeah. the thing is, is we're not. They they're looking for us to come to that meeting. Are we obligated to do so? We're not. No. Then let's we can just say we're just not going to, we're choosing not to go. We could just meet on our own that day. If that on day the 21st? Yeah. Yeah. We could just meet in this room. There's no that room. Right. Okay. So, you know, the only thing is if we want it official, we got to post it. That's all. No, that's, that's the whole thing. We'll have to post it. We'll have to post it. That's yeah. why I'm asking now, because we can ask Denise to post it. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we put in an extra meeting this week. We just won't, we just won't meet on Monday, and then we'll go and we'll come in on the twenty first. Okay, so that give you enough time to get the documentation you're looking for. What time did you? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. I don't know if I'm really going to find out my answer. I, I just, you know, I asked specifically for something, uh -huh. and I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. You mean Stonewall? I didn't get it. They thought this was a thing. I mean, everything I read to you, I mean, I don't know. I, sometimes I miss something. Nothing sounded like what we were talking about, right? Do you want me to scan and email them to all of us tomorrow? What you found, what you got? Sure. Like I said, I don't see it. All this talks about extensions and that, and my kid mm -hmm. asked one. Okay. It doesn't really say that this is what happened. How the decision was made, how the decision was... But I mean, some of these things, I could... I mean, I can make a decision without that. I know that, I know that Bill Dunn had expressed about too many projects at one time going out there. So that's another aspect that I'm going to consider myself, because I think it is bad that we have too many things going on. With some of these things that are in here, there's extensions being asked for, but stuff that hasn't been completed because it got voted on three years ago. Mm -hmm. right. But we're still moving forward doing eight more projects. And if it doesn't get extended at this special town meeting, then the money, <coughs> money, money, money no back. longer can be spent. Right. Right. Or goes back into CPAs. Well, yeah, yeah, but it, it's... You know. And the only one that seemed somewhat legitimate was the sharing of bathroom ones because of all the... They got the bids and then there they were like wicked bids. high and then they had to redo well, the plans the and then they, you know, right. rebid it again. They, they, have, they, they have to come back to reality and, and say this is what we can get for this money. We can't have uh, tile floors and, and, and ceramic this and, and, and changing rooms. And it's got to be a simple men's room, boys' room or, or, or unisex toilet they can't go Two for. unisex toilet rooms. <laughs> So do you want to go through the, uh, the special town meeting because that's small? We can do that anyways, and then if you want, I mean, unless you want to call it, just do it all on the 21st. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can vote right now on every single one of them. I've already read them. Right, so about Even though I've been accused of not being prepared. Um, article 1. Of special town meeting is to see if the town will amend the vote taken on Article 1 at the special town meeting on April 28, 2014, a vote to return the appropriated amount of $187,800 to the stabilization fund as the cost were not needed to reduce the overall borrowing for the project by the district. That should be an easy one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, do we have any recommendations? 
motion for favorable action. I'll second. second. All favorable action? Say aye. 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 Uh, article 2 to see if the town will vote to extend the deadline to June 30th, 2018 for Article 28 passed at annual town meeting on April 29, 2013, appropriating a sum of up to $24,000 for the Community Preservation Fund open space set aside fiscal year 2014 to a, be made available for the purpose of the conservation restrictions on existing open space properties project to be managed by the town finance director and the Grove and Conservation Commission under the CPA category of open space. And B, authorize the Board of Selectmen or their designee to enter into all agreements and execute any and all instruments including the conveyance of a perpetual conservation restriction in said property. Lot 5-001 Wood Street Lot 53-002A Uptack Road and Lot 47-053A Stevenson Way, meeting the requirements of General Law Chapter 184, Section 31 through 33, as may be necessary on behalf of the town, or take any action relative thereto. Um, this article will extend the original deadline of June 30th, 2015 by three years by placing required, required conservation restrictions on three land parcels previously purchased or owned by the town. I, I move unfavorable. Second. All favorable say aye. Unfavorable. Unfavorable? Yes. I move yes. the deadline. Move the deadline. Move the deadline. Not favorable? Unfavorable. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Does we have these in front of them? I do. Yeah. I see you rather not read them? Move to read the article? Yeah, move to Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. You saved my voice. Good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Article 3, I move unfavorable. Second. All second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Article 4. I move favorable. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. I say no. But majority wins. So the committee is saying favorable. Mm -hmm. That one's the, the bidding and all that process. And this looks like a lot of left pocket, right pocket stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Article 5. I make a motion we move favorable. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 I knew those would be easy. Yeah. You want to keep going? Or we can go for a little while if you. We can save ourselves later, that'd be great. Yeah. We call a curfew at 9.30 and whatever we can get yeah. through by then. The first sure. couple are, are mechanics, they're just things we have to do. Yeah. yeah. You know, we don't want to deny the opportunity to get Chapter 90 money. That's Article 1. Move, Move for favorable action. Second. Second. Favor? All in favor? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, you gavel. <laughs> uh, I, I, I question. Why there's no dollar amounts on this? I have to, too. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw this. What do they want me to vote on? XXX? Okay, I approve to vote XXX. As long as that doesn't that? really equal the I think it depends value of civil money. I'm wondering if, if they're waiting to find out how much the chapter 90 money is going to be. Well, they won't know if they don't know now. Mm. Well, she finds out tomorrow at 8 a.m. Is, is this, be, is this to do with the... Tomorrow. Is this to do with the uh, Route 97 project? The, the really article that. one is the the the, I don't know, the authorization, all right? Yeah. For the selectmen to petition the state for any sum available. Yeah. Okay. We usually have a sum, which is Article two. Mm -hmm. Right. Transfer the available funds. You know, to the Chapter ninety approved road work, but it, it we usually have an amount there. Yeah, it'd be nice if we did. And yeah, so yeah, I, so. you know. 
So one one authorizes the other one to transfer the money to the right accounts. Can we, can we do a no action? Can we, yeah, pass on that for today? Sure. We'll put it on the table. That's a fake. Table. Motion to table. Table okay. article two. Article three is mandatory. It's the Veterans of Foreign Wars. It's nine hundred dollars. It's been nine hundred dollars since I've been on the committee. Yeah. Motion favorable. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Accept money from the electric company. Motion favorable. Second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 We already voted on Article 5, right? Yep. The budget? Right. Yep. We did. We did. Yeah. Okay, Article 6. Those will be our numbers, yes. So Article yes. 5 will be our numbers. Correct. Yes. And the Board of Selectmen will vote unfavorable. Or on Not our necessarily. Numbers. Not necessarily. Well, they could choose to decide. They could choose to see eye to eye with us. True. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's our budget. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what we recommend. Are we skipping Article 6 for the reasons we discussed earlier? Um, Agreed. Well, table. I, if, if, if the finance seven. board recommendations are necessary, I think we should make it very clear that the figures that are listed there for fiscal 16 is what we recommend. Well, no change then. However, we want to tell them. Well, then wouldn't it be a favorable vote? Favorable, yeah, on the Water Commission's vote, yeah. Favorable. I agree. No, the the Water Commissioners right. recommend. Yeah, they don't necessarily sign a contract, but they recommend they voted to give him that kind of raise, right? Isn't that how it works? And then they came here, and they sell the package to us, and then we ask them all the questions about it. Right, and they try to sell the package obviously to the board of selectmen. That's why they didn't agree with it. If you know? my memory serves me correct, this committee has never made a change in it. I mean, because we don't have the authority to do. I think well, so. because they didn't want to. No, I. There was, like there was never that consideration, I'd you know. Like to, uh, yeah, take it then. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to understand like why she's asking. I guess our opinion on we don't have one. I mean, why is it? You know what I mean? Don't know. Don't know. But why don't we table it until we find out? Six and seven, we just move yeah. on. We weren't planning on getting this far anyway, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we have a handful of questions and say we, we need have to questions do. about it, yeah. we can we can ask if we can we limit it. Out. We have time yeah. for the next. It isn't that we're boxed in right now. We have to. Yeah. We're not up against it here. Um, article eight. Oh, I include six. This is something. again a, a bookkeeping thing. The money that we okayed in Article 5 can't be expensed unless this is okayed. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. The same thing in 6 and 7. Right. All right. I, I move favorable action. Second. Favorable action? Say aye. 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 Okay, this is a blank dollar amount we don't know. And motion we table. Second. There's no money on that. Why? I don't know. Um, I don't like the way this thing's working. Article 10, oh, we, wanted, it, we wanted this broken up. I know. And but it's all in nothing. And it's broken up in the bottom as if somehow you can vote on the motion based on what it says at the bottom. You know, 96659 is going to be uh, raised through normal taxes. And right. Like, and then the nine ten, the nine hundred ten thousand is going to be raised with a and notes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it say anything about a vote of approval by the town? Article it ten requires two thirds affirmative vote of borrowing. Oh, you know, oh, you mean like go to ballot the next day? Is that what you're talking about? Right here. Right. So it goes on the ballot, right? I would. That's why I thought the land was 
double voting was because it was wrong and fun. It always is. I don't, but I don't see that here really. Maybe I'm just jumping right over it. Is that what that, that means? An article 10 requires two thirds of the the vote is falling? That, that that's on town floor. That's, that's a town meeting. Right. But yeah, he's saying afterwards. So the following the week, week on Monday, we have we an election. Have a vote. And we have it's on the ballot. Right. Sure, it's yeah. got to be passed in both. Yeah. For, for a loan. For a loan, yeah. For our money. The minimum they should have done here is separate the, the, the items that are borrowing from the items. It should have been Article yeah. 10 and Article 11, I think. Yeah. Or Article 10. To borrow it in the loan. tax. Yeah. This is like a cable bill. I, I'd rather have it a la carte. Yeah, well, we got the I or the double I, I think, and they, they sh that's what they Well, you can't they subdivided it by that into two different articles, I'd be happier with it, you know what I mean? Right. How about this? Town four, we can do, it seems like, whatever we want. We move to break this up into two articles. Well, let's have her do it beforehand. I mean, why should, I don't know. We talked about it before, and we, yeah. we fell yeah. on deaf ears. We, they, if it falls on deaf ears, then we move to break it into two articles. What it is, what this looks like to me is that you know, you're piggybacking on a thing that they're definitely going to vote for. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They're not going to not give the ladder truck. And attaching the pork it, to the it, rest of it. You know? yep. And then there should be the exact language that's going to be on the ballot. And it doesn't seem to follow, does it? No. Nope. Because I tossed out that OPEB stuff. So the question is, and the problem. When does this have to be printed up tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. The question on this is if borrowed, why isn't it it, it should be putting on be put on the ballot to approve the borrowing? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I yeah. Well, Because it always says that, yeah. So that people realize that yes. the following Monday their vote could be changed. What happens very often is, oh, town floor, oh yeah, yeah, well, they vote yeah. everything. Yeah. But then all of a sudden it goes they to the ballot, things don't get passed. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And the question is going to be, and I hope Denise is ready, but what's this going to cost me? What's it going to cost me every year? Right. I asked her about one of them, and I mentioned it as a debt exclusion, and she goes, no, it's not a debt exclusion. That means that it will be an ongoing borrowing, and we'll just carry it, and we'll borrow it for something else, and just keep it going. And, and Greg's philosophy was not that. Well... She, that was her thing. She wanted to retire certain that you take on as one is retiring. Yeah, kind of like you just on. release a new car. You, you lease a car for three years, and at the end of three years, you just release you release a new car. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, you roll it over. Yeah, just keep going. And that that's her attitude about the borrowing, or her approach. So, what what yeah. does the group think of? I know we've all talked about this, this all being lumped together. I Does the group feel, like Bill was saying, that, you know, the borrowing items should be in one separate group and the taxation items should be in another? Yes, yes, Chef Senator Nemo saying that would be very strongly. Well, I think that's a, at a very minimum. At a minimum. I, I almost go with Andy and, and say separate each item. Needs a norm, yeah. I, I don't mind lumping the ones, I don't mind doing it into two pieces, mm -hmm. but the funding mechanism should be applied to one, and then the other funding mechanism should be <coughs> applied, applied to the other. Right. Can't disagree with you. And, yeah. no, I, I don't know why it's not. I, I don't understand her, maybe she's just been really busy or something, but I really expect it, when I, when I, I downloaded this because you sent it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a free printer available to me, uh, <clears throat> so I uh, I just printed off a couple copies of everything, and as soon as I looked at it, I went, "This doesn't tell us anything." Yeah. You know, I'm, what am I voting on? You know, 
Yeah, I think this needs to get done. And since tomorrow is the deadline, I mean. I think, well, we're not. I mean, on town floor, I guess we could always just say, you know, we wrote unfavorable on this. This should be split up into two articles. This should be done. It should be very explicit that all the taxpayers realize that that $910,000 is being borrowed and it's going to cost them how much, Denise? $100,000 a year. How much? About $100,000 a year. On, on the financial alone, it is. Oh no, that was a fire truck and a console, I think. Yeah. The final um, truck is forty-three thousand five hundred dollars of principal and thirty-seven thousand two hundred and ninety-four dollars of interest from two thousand seventeen until two thousand thirty-six. But the interest obviously changes. Okay. So does anybody easy. check the borrowing for a new ladder truck? And what does the state allow for the length of time on the loan? Can't be 20 years because it still goes. I tried to say it was the life of the, it's supposed to be the life of the vehicle. Right, and the state sets the life on all equipment. I thought she said 10. I don't know what she said, I don't remember, but I tried she to has find 20 it. 20 on the schedule. And I got, the, say 20? I got the chapter, chapter 44, that? section 7, and I no couldn't find it. it. It wasn't explicitly Well, that's stated. what it's based on, the life of it, right? Isn't that the way she explained it? It was the life of the vehicle? What is the expected life? But when the would, life where the state sets that right level. But right. wouldn't the life be different in a small town versus Boston? No. No. It's based on the vehicle, yeah. what it is. Like they have a five year limit asset. on borrowing if you restore a vehicle. Right. Because it's obviously older and in it's not gonna last. No, it's not well right, but like, you know, our fire trucks are not being used with any near frequency. Doesn't matter. It doesn't That's matter. It's, it's like the I think it's a depreciation on your car. Yeah, the depreciation yeah. would, would would not be as as, as you know, right, but is fast, you would but think that would be the way it's run. Well, right, because I mean, the ladder truck we have now is what 20, 30, 30. Because wasn't there something, something with the, the communication? Well, you buy it out, right? Doesn't she said five years or something. Was it 10? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew it was, but I knew it wasn't because they said they wouldn't, they only gave you so much of equipment mm -hmm. and things like that. But other things that would go and extend it out, right? So, sure, it was the building, right. I would think a ladder truck. Jeez. But like a, like computers, three. you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Three. Right. If you could do any more than that. I mean, something like three. that, yeah. that's what they yeah. do. They All take sorts of things that basic are, life. life. Yeah. Just the obsolete. Life expectancy. You know, go, it's obsolescent. Even three years on, on technology, uh, computer things is, is crazy. In six months. So the person, person, the person yeah. you know, so you renege on the loan, they're going to re, they're going to repossess the stuff. And the stuff isn't worth anything. Yeah, you know, right. So that's right. just like a car. Right. You know, the fact they do six and I don't think they go on beyond six on new cars. Yeah, they do seven uh, years. Eighty-four months. No, no. Eighty-four months. months. Yeah, do they? Do they? I know. I think just seventy-two, but they'll give you like a five-year on like a two-year-old car. Oh, I know. You get a five-year on a five-year-old car nowadays. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. So, but then you get it. Can we higher say interest water? Rate. Mm -hmm. How about upside down? So the the two questions. Was vote on whether there's a vote on the ballot for the borrower, mm -hmm. and then whether this could be divided up by the taxation items and the borrowing items. It's, it's usually an explanation yeah, like on the article. The bottom. That's that anything that, yeah, with anything that's going to be borrowed. That, this necessitates <laughs> not only a two-thirds majority vote but at also, town meeting, but also a majority vote I, uh, at the general election. town election right. 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 on May whatever. Which we, right. we spoke about that before when we were talking mm -hmm. about it. That nobody seemed to be very happy with that setup. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know why that, yeah, why that wasn't changed. Yeah. Article 11. Uh, to establish the line, I'll move for favorable action on that. In a second. All in favor of favorable actions? Aye. 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 The hope is focus of accounting. I'm glad someone listened on that. I, I was happy that someone. We talked about that. If someone actually listened to put is thinking about putting something in the account yeah, when we do have available funds. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Uh, Article twelve. Uh, let's see. 
This is one of the CPA questions. No, it's not. No, no, it's, no, a it's, revolving revolving account. Account. it's a revolving yeah. account, which we have okayed, have okayed every year since DC Park came into existence. Well, most favorable action. But that's who manages it, right? The CPA? Yep. No, it's conservation. 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 Same person. Right. Is everybody aware that when VZ Park first was purchased, the agreement was there'd be no town monies directly used on, on any items or expenses that would be self-sustaining through the rentals and... Yeah. That's what I understood. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. Not true. Um, we plow it. No. We plow it. We, we mow it. it. They need money for... Some other or something? Yeah. So. It just costs us a little bit to lose more. No, I can't get the five more. Um, so, we have any motion on this? I'd like to see the accounting on all the, the these accounts reporting for any sort of action, to be honest. Like to see the books yeah. for DC and for the Pope branch. I know the rest of these revolving accounts. They're just I have no idea what's kind of going on. Okay, move the table. In article twelve. Second. So I'm just going to put a question mark and write books next to it. Yeah, twelve thirteen. Right here. Fourteen fifteen. I, I I don't really agree. No. Uh, I think we're we're at the last minute right now. Yeah. And yeah, if we if we want to, you know, we can I we mean, can always walk on the town floor and change our mind and vote unfavorable. But yeah, I thought she said we were going to get that information though. So you want to know past history on it? Is that what you're looking at? Just for the fiscal year, I thought she said that going forward, starting this year, we would Denise would give us the accounting for the year of what they've received and expended and all that. So. Mm. I can only speak, I can't remember what happens with VZ, but I, I do know with the Pines boat ramp, every year it's kind of a laugher because, you know, they took in $3,648 and they expensed $37.60 for a new locker. I mean, that, that that's how it's been for the boat ramp. Yeah, the ramp, the ramp seems to be good. The other thing, I. I always hear rumors of VCs not doing all that well. Yeah. And I mean, the boat ramp is capped at five grand a year. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then, and then, and then fourteen. Oh no, that's fourteen. I was thinking fifteen. Hmm. I, I don't know what you know. Five thousand dollars for zoning. I'm not sure what they do. Why they need a revolving account? I just don't oh, know. Oh, that's that. I believe they pay the. Maybe I think some minutes and stuff and like publish the, the, the stuff in the newspaper or something. And then the fees come into that account. Yeah. Or is that how that one works? Entity has a Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I have no problem. So then we should, should we go ahead and move? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to go 13. I hold off on 12 and, 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 and move forward on 13 and 14. All right, I move up favorable action on 13, 14. Second. All, second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. I'll vote 15. Aye. I'll move favorable action on that as well. Second. Any discussion? You know, I, the fees have gone up in this. I'd really like to know where this all goes at the end of the day. But compared to every other camp, they're so cheap. Well, I agree. So, I mean, but. Yeah. Is yeah. there a profit being made, or is there a loss being incurred? And if a profit, where's the profit going? If a loss, where's the, where, where's the loss being made up from? I can't imagine there's a profit. Revolving account. Oh, I can't imagine there's a loss. It's not on the budget. I know. It's own separate thing. Yeah. Well, we can table that. Do you want to table that and ask if we can see some books on that? I, I, 
I, I don't think any exist. Uh, maybe going forward. All the money that comes in comes into this town hall, and all the money that's expensed goes out of this town hall. So there has to be books. So there's books. But it's not kept somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Checks are made out to the town of Grover. Yeah, they certainly are. In any of the payroll or any of the out. or any of the payroll or any of that stuff. Oh see some of the stuff it says it says uh one selectman voted favorable and the other two didn't vote. Right. And which one? That was a couple of the Pro Trail on article sixteen. Oh, okay, we're on sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So it's the selectmen, the board of selectmen vote. You know. I don't know. Now my understanding was he we talked about this the last time, and I don't know how it is exactly written, but if they voted not to put this on and somebody got ten signatures, right. it goes, then it on. goes on. Which you know, right down to the push. small print, which is says which that. Is they did. So this is obviously a response, did not vote to to that. Right. Fine. So what? What do we what what do we think of it? I think we need to stop the train. I, I just see, what I see coming is that the funds are not going to be available from the state and they're going to say, we're into this for 500000 already, what's a little bit more, let's just do it and finish it up. And Except it's going to be $10 million. Well, it's exactly. Not a and, and it's like, mm -hmm. it's not going to be, you know, they're saying, oh, this isn't going to affect the budget. Well, maybe this year it isn't, but I can see the funds drying up at the state level Quickly. and then them coming back saying, well, we've already spent this, we might as well just finish it. You know, and then it's, it's another cup of coffee. Then it's another runaway train. Just right, like the big another thing unfinished was. project and another box of Joe and a dozen donuts and yep. all going to you. Yep. All right, so I'll move for unfavorable action. I'll second all that. Yep. All in favor, unfavorable. Aye. 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 Okay. Um, Article seventeen. This is the Riverview Cemetery project with CPA. I'll move favorable action on that. Second. I agree. I've been by there. It's sad to see those storms. All in favor, favorable action? Aye. Aye. If you guys have questions on any of the CPC stuff, let me know. Well, I, I actually had a question on this particular one because there was a timeline in their proposal and for the repointing of the stones in the um, the barrier, the fence, whatever you want to call it. The rock wall. The rock wall, yes. It said 10 to 15 years and I couldn't tell if that meant it didn't need to be done for another 10 to 15 years or it needs to be done every 10 to 15 years. My understanding was it was improperly they use the improper like compound more to begin with to begin with the so it needs more. to be done so that it will have a lifespan of 10 okay yeah, that was my then, saying yes. they were also yeah. supposed to fix the arch the rock wall and the mausoleum because mausoleum yes. walls are falling apart oh, yeah. from the actual building mm -hmm. i guess the if wall was the problem more of the problem yeah I mean, I what they had said yeah the arch had moved three eighths of an inch on one side and that's the problem that, the engineer recommended that it didn't have to be done immediately, but if they're doing all the rest, they might as well tackle it. Why you've got many materials there is always the easiest right. way to yeah. bring them back. Right. And Betty's comment that she made in the last meeting was that these projects are best when they are tangible and they're a one-time and done type yeah. of project. I agree with her on that point. Sure. Yep. And before it's a crisis. Exactly. So. Proactive. And they want to fix how the entrance works and stuff too. Yes. All right. Article 18. This is on uh, doing repair work to the historic main building of VC Park. Oh, yeah, they talked about this. I, mean, I want to point something out about this one too. Part of their uh, application process was that they needed to get multiple proposals. And this particular one only sought one proposal 
from one contractor who happens to live in Groveland and who happens to support um, CPA and CPC projects in general. Uh -huh. And so since we don't have any other proposals to measure against, I don't think that we can safely support a $17,500 expenditure if we don't know what other differing quotes might entail. So for, for that, I'd like to move on favor. I second that. All in favor, on favorable action, say aye. 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 Okay, Article 19. Uh, this is the documents and old books over the Langley Adams Library. Somebody, how many quotes did they get on that one? Um, I, I've read them and I, yeah. you know, I just can't remember on that one. Now, did it, if approved, did, did, are they obligated to go out and get at least three bids mm -hmm. on these projects? So they this is just proposal. kind of a. They need to approve the proposal. Not for the actual bid. So this isn't just a place marker that they've got. A, you know, no, because they wouldn't have an amount on here if they didn't have a bid that ju justified this right, kind of so amount. Right, right but is, is the one bid oh. they have no, a, a guesstimate, a place marker, say, for what we expected to, to get, but if the article is approved, then we're obligated to go out and get three independent bids I as long as they The proposal requires three, doesn't it? That's what I, what that was my understanding. I don't know. That was my understanding. Yeah. I, I would say to get an accurate price, you go get Well, for the lighting of the field at Washington Park, there was more than one proposal. There was more than one. Yes. Dude, don't blame us for doing a thorough job. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that you guys, that's, that's the way I thought the proposals had to be presented. Mm -hmm. It was at least a competing bid. Maybe it's only two, but at least there should have been Something else. You know, certain things you, you can't always get multiple bids because of the nature of what it is. Absolutely agree. Right. You know? But if you're talking about painting something, boy, you should better have more than one bid. Yeah. I would think so. It's, you can probably get 22 bids just from the town alone. Or just doing reconstruction or restoration of a, a building that doors. the town doesn't know. Uh, I doesn't think know. they might have had, I think the library had one bid from like they an had. archival. Placed. I believe they were working on trying to get the second bid. They have one bid for the uh, mold remediation component. Yeah. It looks like they've individually priced out vendors for the specific products that they need. Yeah. So they've got uh, Gaylord, University Archival, Demco, um, all different line items pertaining to the different products. So I imagine they did a product search to find the best price, it seems. I don't know what type of competitors there are for mold remediation. I would imagine that's, it's a very expensive endeavor to undertake anyway. But that component is a surf pro, yep. Yeah. It's one quote for that component of their project. There aren't many better than, than those folks. I, I, I would, my, my opinion is to go forward with this. Mm -hmm. And I think if we have something in our town, like the cemetery stone and the arch, or the historic documents in the library, or... You yeah, know, this is yeah. part of the documents. It's, I don't remember the gentleman's name. I think it was a doctor who had transcribed down all headstones, all of his archival records, organizing mm -hmm. all that. That's what he did. I mean, but it seems, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it preserves the culture and, uh, of the town. And the records, yeah. And even though they got one quote from Servpro, it's incredibly detailed. It uh, has. Servpro doesn't have a lot of competitors. Yeah. They it's, really don't. Yeah, it's you meticulous. Kind it of, really is. That kind of work. That kind of work. It's, it's you know, dealing toxic. Even special licenses and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't anybody did that kind of work for a long time. They, they're really special. I've had their services. I've used their services. And they're, they're very on the line. I think. Expensive. They're all expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're expensive sometimes. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll move favorable on that. Second. 
steps. It had the blue poles. It had the plastic slides and all that stuff. I mean, that didn't look bad. Did you, did you drive by it or did you actually get out and physically inspect it? I didn't get out and inspect it. Okay. I just looked at it. Do a favor. Yeah. Move on it when you see it. Yeah. It is, it's not only old, but um, I think it was North Reading or North Ender was throwing it out yeah. 10 years ago. Right. When we picked it up off the scrap heap and said it's better than what we have so I can't even imagine what was there before right um, but I mean the swing set looked old but I didn't think that that was on play the structure two of those swings yeah but the, the the whole the whole playground is absolutely decrepit and it's not our business it really isn't right GBL is willing to take this project on just to enhance the overall beauty of the park and the town. It's good for everybody. Now when I'm looking at the, the ballpark, there's a right hand, when I'm looking from where those buses were, there's a right hand ball field and there's a left hand ball field. And there's a ball field way in the back, right by the by the fire station. Where are, the, where are you talking about building this? Is it redoing one of those ball fields or what? The ball field has already been done, redone at our expense. The ball field, so one on the right. at it. No, the ball field on the right is our old major league uh, ball field. Okay. Uh, and that's now going to be used for the minor league AAA division. There's 60 feet bases and 46 feet 6 inches from home plate to the pitcher's mound. Okay. The diamond that you see on the left has now been reconfigured to also accommodate a 50-70 league. So there'll be 70 feet from base to base and 50 feet from pitcher's mound to home plate. Um, it, it's a little bit larger than a standard little league field and a little bit smaller than a standard major league field. So it's that intermediary step between the two that we're hoping will help the, the kids kind of transition to that bigger ball field. Because right now, uh, you jump from 60 feet to 90 feet in one year. There's no transition in between there. It's a 50% jump. It's quite a battle. Gradually now, we're taking from 60 feet to 70 feet to 90 feet. So as they grow in skill level, yeah. that's what the so, 57 So the, the major league, little league, will play on that field with the 70 foot? Correct. And, and most what, of these what games, do they play in the other towns? 50, 70. We're actually a member of uh, what so they call the IBTL. Newburyport changed their field. Newburyport, Georgetown. They've all changed Andy their fields. Salisbury. So is that the Rowley. field that's going to get done over? That's the field that already has been done over. We've already, we've already, last fall, we already hired 
uh, engaged in and paid for the infield to be moved back, new right. pitches mounted to be installed, so plates to be installed. So what's the money being spent for? So what's the money? Are we building another diamond? The money, the money here is being spent for, if you look at the backstops of the, all the fields. Yeah. Um, the fencing has now curved. It's it's sagged. It's old. It's worn. Um, you've got the bottom of a chain link fence. You've got you know two little kind of spikes that you know they tie together. It looks like the end of a DNA molecule. Well, those basically stick out into the field in a number of places, just making it kind of, you know, watch out. Um, the dugouts, uh, again, are, need to be redone. Uh, they're all wood structures now. We like the and dirt floors, uh, which makes a mess. You get any kind of rain in there, and it's just a mud pile. So it makes a mess. Um, the parking lot again, you know, that's part of the cost. Uh, the lights, uh, in order to play, for example, great example, we could have um, we could have sponsored or hosted uh, the All Star Weekend here in Groveland had we had lights in the Major League field, but because we don't. The IBTL opted to use Salisbury instead because now they can do the minor league and the major league all star game in one day because they have lights that they can go till nine thirty or ten o'clock. So you can't play a major uh, you can't play a major game on a sixty foot field anymore. We can't play a major league game on a sixty foot field anymore. Correct. Not in the league we've joined. And in order to extend those games and not be ended early because of possible lack of light. Um, you'd like to be able to, you know, have the kids get in the whole game, the whole six inches. So listen, they were built on another baseball diamond. It's those existing diamonds that are there. Mm -hmm. And it's we're going to the infrastructure yeah. of the three diamonds there. It's to uh, repave the, the uh, parking lots so that they're actually resemble a parking lot. Mm -hmm. It's to do over the uh, playground, again, which has nothing to do with us, but we're taking that on our own. Um, and it's basically a, a revitalization and, and restoration of, of the park. Okay. And if you look, the GBL project or the Washington Street project revitalization is the only project on the list where we're willing to put our own money and time and effort into it. As Andy said, we're the only ones with skin in the game. And once done, you're looking at something that should realistically have a lifespan of at least 20 years. There are no additional costs to this project once complete. It's finished. Who's going to manage this whole thing being done? Is it going to be the, the GBL? Or is it going to end up being another job that's going to have to be done through here? Well, it would be, I believe, through um, the coordinated efforts of the finance director, who basically she holds the purse strings. Right. Yeah. Um, and I guess we would contract the individuals um, to. to do the work as long as they fall within the specifications of the project, right, right. both in time and money and scope. Okay. What are your thoughts on the two um, different lighting projects, the eco-friendly versus the town lighting? I don't really have any thoughts one way or the other. I imagine that you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Mm -hmm. How's the lighting on the? How how is the lighting worked out on the major? League? Um, the current one. Again, I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, I, it's at that dusk period, you know, just before complete sunset, 
but just still light enough. Where the lights, I find are probably a little bit inadequate right now, but that might also be due to the fact that we've got a couple of bulbs out. So if we fix those. Uh, because the quote from the electric bike company is quite a bit less than the other one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the other is claiming energy cost savings over a period of time. Would yeah. make up for the difference. Oh, please. How can that be? Well, yeah. I, I, I listen, they're not, they're not on all winter. No. I, 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 I'm I with you. Those energy saving bulbs are supposed to last seven years and cost me two, three, you know, ten times as much as the old incandescent. Yeah, I'm not buying it yet. Because yeah. I'm throwing those out. But just the usage. The just the amount of usage they get mm -hmm. on a year, the yearly basis. They're off by nine. Yes, mandatory. Uh, I mean, you know. They don't typically go on till, you know, a half hour before it does. You really have to put them on so the players can get acclimated to to that light. And, and so it's, and plus that I think they're mercury vapors, so they do take a few minutes to energize and come. Right, so maybe a couple hours. Yeah, two hours maybe. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, our highest electric bill is typically in the, 230 250 range and that means a month you pay it the global baseball league play, pays the uh, electric bill yeah okay. who do you think pays it interesting i that's what i thought but you know i'm still waiting for somebody from the electric company to come down and hopefully tell me why they can shame these guys for nickels and dimes but you know we'll, well get they charge someday. the town of grove thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars to light the street lights mm -hmm. yeah. That's in our budget. Well, that's part of the great right deal we got when they put in the solar farm, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. I, I, it's a sh shame you can't put a solar panel and put lights over there. Uh, believe me. Yeah. That, that would be good. awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, we, we put in our own well right. over there at our cost because we couldn't afford the time water anymore. Right. Yeah. I just think, I, I was really hoping that uh, our community electric light <clears throat> would have uh, kicked in a real good deal for you. Because it's the community, you know what I mean? I'm so, still hoping to shame them into some part of it, you yeah, know, put yeah, it that way. Right, because, right. Um, they thought that the, maybe the lights and stuff like that, maybe they could do a little more for you because they really are a uh, community electric light. That's when I saw that. I know they came up with a better price, but I thought they might do better for you. You think, yeah. especially because we're trying to keep it in the family, quote unquote. Right. You know, right. that they could, but yeah. we haven't finished beating them up yet, you know, so yeah. it, we, it may change. Yeah. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, a nicer park. Do you have any idea how much the paving's going to be out of this 220? I think we do. Yep, it's in I, I, oh, yeah, I know it's not it on here, but it's, it was broken. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I read it, and I, just, two, I read so much stuff, I can't posts. keep it straight. I'll tell you, the, the current president, Aaron Pinkin, has just done an extraordinarily fantastic job with this project. Yeah. He's spearheaded the whole thing. There isn't a person in the GBL right today that isn't just extremely proud of the work she's done on this project. Um, her and Lisa Sola and uh, Marissa Deshanis. Uh, I think those are the three lead uh, project tiers. Um, they've done fantastic work. And I'm pretty sure she, she has it there somewhere. And she probably got the quote from Bob Akalian, I would imagine. Foremost experts on how much it would cost to pay that kind of square footage. I thought there was some quote. No, it's, it's fine. I, I know there were. I just thought <coughs> maybe you might know kind of. I don't know yeah. off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I, no, that's all right. I know it would be. Oh, here it is. Here's the last thing. The th estimates were what? 22, 32, and 29. The thirty thousand tops, maybe. Mm -hmm. that be? Oh. I thought it was going to be more of it, more than that. But yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. And the CPC beat the beat the girl on baseball. Mm -hmm. They came across for two ninety and beat them up. <coughs> a little <Yeah>. bit. <coughs> but I think all in all, it, 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 it was still comprehensive. It's a worthwhile project for the community. It's a, it, 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 We hope it's going to be a great place to take your kids and your grandkids and your nieces and nephews for a lot of years to come. And again, with no additional cost to the town once the project is done, GBLs picks up the tab for the additional lighting or whatever.
And what okay. do you want to have it done by? We're hoping to have the entire project done by the end of the fall of this current year, 2015, so that we can hit the ground running in 2016 and have this all up and running so that we could actually host one of these events and bring these people to our town and show them um, what makes our town so special. So the 32,000 they're kicking in represents the additional money from the 220. So 252 would be the total price? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some of it was the donation part. And some of it is uh, sweat equity. And some sweat of it is cold ash, hard cash. On the actual playground structure, they were going to, the person that. But their whole, but their the, whole the whole price of the projects was like 350. I mean, 250, 250, 250, yeah. 250. Estimated. Estimated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the deal. There's different ways of doing that. What is it? The company that comes out and they'll hire observe the volunteers years? come in yes. and, right. and, and put it together. They, yep. and and they'll show you that it, how to put it up right. Yeah, right. it's like a one weekend yep. all out party. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've seen how we've taken care of that park over the years, I don't think there's any question in anybody's mind we're not going to get the number of volunteers we need to make that happen. Yeah, they have I'd be people. astonished. Exactly. Actually, I'd be pulling people out of door, out of houses if that happens. Yeah, that's And they know it. Yeah, there was about so 20 of you did. guys that showed up for CPC night. Yeah. Big feeling, feeling committee that yeah. brought their troops. Yeah, it's, it's worked. I've seen that. When they did the Bagnell School, I helped out with the Bagnell School, so I know, I know it works out good. Anybody in favor? I'm more favorable. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Recused. You want to stop because we got the yeah we five minutes to ten. We, 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 we promised ourselves nine thirty, and we do. We are going to do the twenty first. Do you want to send an email to her about the twenty first, or you want me to call her? Um, we're saying that she needs to post a meeting for us. Post a meeting for us on the twenty first. Separate from separate. Set, we're going to have our own separate meeting. We're not necessarily meeting. Yeah. No, we'll meet here and we'll come so they can have their own money. That's right, exactly. I think we should say we can, we'll do our best, but we're not obligating ourselves to yeah. any meeting with them at this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People like it, but. 4 21 15 at 7 p.m. Am I also asking her if she would mind to break out those that article, or are we just leaving it the way it is? I think we should. Article's fine. I think the problem is it's going to end yeah. up on there the way it is. Borrowed we'll we'll taxation. We've got a little fight on top floor. We're we'll 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 the last one. I'll second your action. And I'll make it very clear you know, to the town's people. Yeah. You do realize this is going to cost you this much money. Well, we do need a fire truck. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a catch 22. You know? I think that's why they. Purposely put this all together because they know. Because they know. But they only really put two two big items together. And then one, two, no. two big two big musts though. Right. And the other ones aren't going to require the folks. Yeah. If you don't have the communication, you don't need to buy the fire truck right. because you can't tell them where to go. Yeah. But the rest of this stuff, we could all well, argue one way or the other. Very department. successfully, I think we don't need it now. So they've kind of pigeonholed us with that and said, hey, here it is. It's a bundle package. When you buy this computer, you get Windows and you and get this. Office. Yeah. And even though we're not talking about it now, just I just want to go on record with you guys is that I've made the problems with the wetlands actions. Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm hearing you. You basically won't be able to do anything on your property anywhere. You're right. Because right. Because there isn't. Because there is there's nowhere not, in town that you're not. not water. That close to your yeah. property, it's it's completely for I don't it's, know where that. Are we having going. votes on those categories because of this, this financial impact? Right? Yes, there are. We are. There are a couple of them that. Okay. Yeah. Are recommending. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, you look. I don't, I don't think where they even put us on there. I'm pretty sure well, it doesn't affect the general budget as far as they're concerned. I know some of them didn't even have our opinion. That That's doesn't right. mean we can't speak to it on the top floor. Some of them didn't. And there are one of them. Oh, unfavorable or favorable? Any of you have any background on the marijuana ones? Background? Background? Did we know that? That's good. 
<laughs> no, I don't mean your users or anything like that. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm meaning to the benefit of the town. The the meeting, the it's kind of like putting up a structure that would protect us from having these things come to our town. Are we going to vote these in? Hold the minutes? Yeah. Uh, we're going to hold the minutes in. I'm sorry, hold off. Hold off. Cancel <laughs> that. Back. Cancel back. the close we'll on the meeting. Yeah, the finance board does approve. Two. I have to oh, approve. It does have a finance board on it. For the weapon. It does. Not for the marijuana. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, I just. Let's take a quick peek at the minutes here, see if everything's okay. For March 30th meeting. Awesome. Move to accept the minutes from meeting uh, March 30, 2015. Second. All in favor, sorry. Aye. Aye. Move to close the meeting. Second. Second. Okay.